for them, I think we have unfinished business. Cool. It was like when started wearing dashikis to the Black Panther <laughs> intro. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't wearing that the following <laughs> week. The week, yeah. week, yeah, week, week, we we all code today. Yeah, Shut yeah, yeah. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe people, more people will convert to Islam. I'm not. That sounds it, funny. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, we, we, it we was 9/11 of hip hop. It was. It was. Kendrick flew two planes into Drake and Ovio. I've been, like, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there a couple times. So what happened? So the future is bright, my friend. Relax. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but it, it was about what your team represented. So in closing. To you, that's what it was about. No, to everybody. That's it wasn't it, was it wasn't about that to everybody. This is what you're fighting against. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fight with me, nigga. And, and, As you can see who my sparring partner has been for the last six years that we've been doing this podcast. This is why that nigga Sharp <laughs> never stood a chance. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. Welcome. 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 To the Three Oak Podcast, where even the artists can be fans. AJ the Menace. Shane and Petty. Cherry TNT. And your boy Jeff. White man's on the boards. E out. Florida Mac is on the boards. I am. <laughs> and we're all here, man. Yes. It's been, yes, on, yes, it's been yes, like yes. three weeks. Yeah. It's, it's been it's, a little it's, bit. It's three, right? I yeah. think it's three. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, three episodes. Three, we three weeks and uh, everybody's back. We got a full cast. We got a full house. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Three Oak Podcast, because there are a bunch of people who've never been here before. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And think the only thing that happens on here is Homeroom University, but that is not mm-hmm. the case. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the Monday show at 6 o'clock every Monday, East Coast time. Homeroom at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. And yeah. LOI, the show, is Wednesdays at 6 p.m. So mm-hmm. three different programs, Monday through Wednesday, clips throughout the week. Yeah. But yeah, man, we're back. Yeah. You know? so, uh, I don't even know how to describe the Three Oak Podcast. I feel like it's just, uh, like it's just we just be kicking it. Well, I mean, to for starters, like for those who have been watching or maybe watched the last episode, um, yes. we kind of like for them, I think we have unfinished business. Um, oh. Yes, because. Uh, oh, damn. Because for the past couple of weeks. He's right. We the battle had, ended and we didn't even. He's we, right. we never talked oh, about, talk about it. Ending. Yo, now it makes sense why you got the Kung Fu Kenny shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got you. Okay. Yo, now it makes sense. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> he he's not fucking around. I had no oh, idea. We never, we never concluded we never our, our time. <laughs> we never finished it. Yeah. I didn't even know that. We have a discussion to have. <laughs> we, def- we damn sure do. So, like, yeah, we damn sure. And I got video proof of the winner, too. Hold on. Let me yeah. get to go ahead and send this over to Lauren now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So remember, the last time, <laughs> what, so it was like May 6th, May, May 7th. That's the last time we saw each other. I think. Our last In recording. Person. Yeah. In person. Yeah, because yeah, oh, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. like, the day we recorded our last episode was the day we also shot, like, scene for my movie. Remember? With yeah, the actress? that's right. Because we left here and then went right over there. Yeah. So and that was when. That night is when... That was like May 6th or something. Drake had responded with the heart part six that night. While we were in the While we were filming. recording. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah, what it was. You were yeah. elated. So... <laughs> yeah, I was why. like, yeah, this, it's over for this nigga. Yeah. Yeah, was, yeah. Every over. time we said cut, you were like, oh my God. <laughs> you were losing your shit. So, and then on the drive yeah. home, we listened to the track. No, no, not on the drive home. We went to a Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, yeah on the drive... We listened to the track, and then when it was over, I saw your face droop like you were having a stroke. <laughs> and, and, but we never got the chance to kind of like talk about so, it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, or, or discuss or even give our final thoughts on the whole battle itself. You know, like yeah, I feel, we did. And yeah, that's true. It is only right that we we have to close I that. I think we final owe it to the final viewers thoughts. to that give. That nigga said your Damn, face got stiff, bro. <laughs> Two years off. The air, yeah, sucked out of the, <laughs> the, car. Out of the car. Yeah. Um. Okay. Huh? You sent it I sent the note over. Yeah. I sent it to your text, but it should be on the computer because it's on my phone, so it should be in the three O podcast area. Um. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah. So yeah. we never got to you know. So yeah, give our six, closing yeah, thoughts. Yeah, Mason. Okay. So the heart part six dropped. Mm. 
Not like us wasn't out just yet, right? No, no, it was. It was oh, out. Oh, it, it was out. Not because like us. That was the, that last was the response. response. Yeah. I lost audio. Not like us. Can y'all hear me? I right. hear you now, but no? I did. You did. I did hear you lose it though. Okay, so. there we go. All right, I can hear it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what are you looking for? I'm trying to find you. Trying to play this video. Oh well, yeah, we can play that video. Um, but no, but not, but but not yet though. Yeah, I just didn't get anything in text, so that's why. All I said was the note. Oh yeah, I've been had that. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, man. The heart part six dropped, and I was like, "Well, it's over for this nigga," because it was bad. I mean, that's, that's what you thought in the car. Yeah. Yeah, because I. Could- yeah, 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 I can, I, yeah, I can tell. Underwhelmed. Not like us was already <laughs> happening, and yeah. I was like, "Holy shit, that was a death blow." Yeah. And then when mm-hmm. the heart part six came out, I was like, "Oh yeah, it's out of here." Yeah. <laughs> was the, was you the fought good. Resolved? You fought good, but yeah. yeah. Nope. Yeah. That ain't it. That yeah. is not it. It's over for you. Yeah. I mean, he. And then the things that were happening like days afterwards were like even worse, because um, because he. Started making these like weird IG posts, mm-hmm. trying to get niggas to feel sorry for him. But then there wasn't. Yeah. But there's something that I did forget too that happened. It was like remember his security guard got shot like two yeah. days later out after front, the the hard part right? six came out. I'm yeah. like, yeah. these niggas are in the middle of an actual war right now. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like <laughs> goddamn, actually like, trying to kill. <laughs> yeah, like I wish you would die. And, <laughs> I, like, and, oh, and that's and that's all alleged. That's that has nothing. To, that's not being connected or speculated to be connected with. Um, uh, what with Kendrick? It's yeah. specific, it's connected with allegedly Cash. Who's it? That's on the weekend side. Oh of yeah, teams. that's what I was gonna. That, that's the one I heard. It yeah, was, like, yeah. So yeah, on the weekend side of things, because there mm-hmm. was a shooting at Cash's house, who was somebody that Drake was dissing, mm-hmm. the weekend's manager. Yeah, a couple days prior to that, and then the following. Then there was a shooting. Oh at Drake's yeah, yeah. House. His was first. Yeah, and then Drake's happened oh, like Drake's okay. was actually after. second. Yeah, okay. That was actually yeah. the second shooting in their back and forth. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, well, damn, these niggas. I didn't realize it yeah, was, crazy. Which makes it, which yeah. almost maybe that's why the heart part six sounded so terrible because it's like I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, the biggest turning points in this battle, I think that Drake thought, Drake thought, and I mean, I think we all thought. The family matters felt felt like it was a good death blow or like final yeah final track and which he probably thought that was and too. then he, def- he definitely thought that the- yeah that that he definitely thought nothing was over because yeah. it it was a good song he addressed everything did a, a light expose or whatever if it, if it's credible or or not but uh the fact that um, meet the Grams had dropped like. The fact that right Meet the out. Grams had dropped within like twenty to thirty minutes, yeah, I didn't realize that uh, like the momentum could just be sucked out of the room like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a it that, had a good fifteen minutes. Yeah, that was a yeah. It was a high fifteen minutes for the people like just listening to the Drake track, and then that song. Not only was it just like goddamn, it was fucking eerie as fuck. It was like a yeah. horror movie just started yeah, playing right. like. Shout out to Al- Alchemist, man. Shout yeah, out to Alchemist, yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely he's delivered been on a that role shit lately, like making no, some. Sure. Alchemist and, said that he had sent him. him he too. said he sent him that beat years ago, though. He was just oh, like, good. I did not know that his beat was going to be. Oh, used we're going to be used to this. Yeah. He was just like, I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Yeah. Soundtrack yeah. That makes sense. Too. Yeah, he was yeah. just like, I've yeah. been sending like at least four years ago. Because what else are you going to use that beat? You know what I mean? Like, imagine if that beat was just on his album. I mean, if it was going with the storyline, it could make sense. You know, but. That's definitely not a beat. It, I can it see. The, I can the narrative see hold, of what he was saying. Yeah, I can the, the, the see holding on to that beat for a while and just <laughs> for, <laughs> like wine, like for a special occasion. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's better that yeah. sucked the energy out of the room. Yeah, and then um. Oh yeah, then not like us. And then not like us. Not like us came not out. Like and us then, and but then I saw not like us in real life at the LA function while we was out in LA. Oh, it was going so crazy. LA, LA function is like AD was pretty much saying it's the biggest party of the summer. It ain't. It's the biggest party, and that's the it's that's the party that kicks the summer off. Oh, gotcha. To like, uh, yeah, the club scene, right the house. Right. It's yeah. like, nigga, we're up. Like, like first yeah. Fridays type shit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah okay. But this is the top of the summer one. So yeah. that was one of the biggest ones we went to. And the DJ, we're on the West Coast. It's it's just West Coast out. You know, yeah. like yeah. Mm-hmm. you got to feel the West Coast energy, like. In its full power. They listen Literally. to totally different music than us. Yeah, it occurred They do, much. but just being there was so crazy. I'm like, it is a different world out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's really a different world. Yeah, like, I'm going out there. Yeah. 
it, the East Coast like really don't have that. Scene too. Yeah, the East Coast really don't have that. Like regional rappers, like a like a whole rap scene. What do you mean? Wait, exactly. wait, what do you mean? Like, like New we, York? Or what do you mean? Yeah, like well, I'm just thinking the East Coast in general. Like that yeah. West Coast, when I that West Coast is all unified. Okay. You know what I mean? Even though it's all converging in on LA, mm -hmm. it does include and, and encapsulate everything else. Yeah. And it's just like those people, like the people on the West Coast, is just such a big ecosystem where they don't need to do anything East Coast. Well, that's East the Coast mecca of entertainment. So, yeah. Like, that's where everybody comes from or, or goes to, you know, like from other places. You know? But I feel like, but it's all three. Is LA still the biggest compared to like New York? and Well, I know I Atlanta. Think, well, compared yeah, to New York. Hollywood is out there. Industry, there. I think, Hollywood yeah. is out there. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. for movies, of course. LA. But yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, for for like, movies, I feel yeah. like it's like, it's top heavy with music. I mean, with acting. Yeah, for okay. Sure. So film, you, you mean with right. music? For film. Yeah, but for music, it music. might be. I, got, hmm. I might give music New York still. Hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I, yeah. I, I guess uh, to me, it depends on what kind of type of music you're making. That's true as you well. Know? Because yeah, I know true. like indie, alternative, and shit. It's like, probably can, lit out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. You could probably do that. Go out there. If you're a f folksy singer with you and your acoustic guitar or something like that, you could probably get a career out there if you do that on That's Hollywood true. Boulevard or something. You know? Or Tennessee, too. If oh talking, yeah, yeah. If, if you want to go music, country, yeah, and, you know, Nashville or something. Nashville, yeah, yeah, Nashville, yeah. But uh, okay, yeah. So, so I got uh, some follow up questions. Okay, <laughs> from the last episode. Okay, remember when we were talking about like colonizers and all that stuff? And I think one of the last things you said was, "Whoever's the winning team, if you can't beat them, join them." Well, yeah, lo yeah, along those lines. Yeah. So Kendrick was the winning team. Yeah, he was. So are you? So my joining? Yeah, you coming back over to the backhand side or? <laughs> I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on all the sides. I'm, I'm on, I'm on all said the sides. do side. not be on the wrong side of history. <laughs> right. I'm on all the sides. I mean, I'm on all the sides. In this, there's no like, there's no like disputing who won or nothing like that. Yeah. I've yeah. been arguing with huh? you know, maybe like one or two people. That still think Drake, Drake won? Like delusional. They're bugging. Yeah, yeah that's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I haven't yeah, met yeah, anybody yeah. like that yet. I mean, that, that really in person. I've seen things. some, maybe one on YouTube. But yeah, I'm on the sure. I'm on the winning yeah. team. Yeah, the other yeah. side won. I'm yeah, on the winning yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm on it. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> sure. that, that was the other thing too. Because it was like, I know I called it a character beef the last time, but, right. which it still was. But what I noticed as well was it was kind of a culture beef too. It was. And it was, and one thing that I really like about like the overwhelming, it also, also, do you think, do you find it like ironically funny that the one that was being accused of being a wife beater is also the one that had the most female support? Because every Kendrick? female, yes, because every female that I either encountered in person or saw online or, on, you know, content creators and all that stuff. Um, my 15 year old cousin, she was supporting the, the actress. Yeah, you there with, were. Yeah. She was supporting Kendrick. Yeah. Ashley, she was supporting yeah. Kendrick. Yeah. So don't y'all find it ironically Olay. funny that Ole? Yep. Yeah. Don't y'all find it ironically funny that the one being accused of being a woman beater is the one that had the most it's female it support? Would, bro, and that's what I don't think anyone believed it. I mean, no, no. Well, I, yeah. I, I think that's what it's, it's gearing towards. It's yeah. like the ladies don't even believe what Drake is claiming, you know? So I'm like, well, the, well, the, or they must have not. It seemed like it didn't matter what Drake said. Nobody was going to believe him anyway. Oh, well, and that's his doing his fault, too, because yeah. he said on the hard part six that, yes, I'm a master manipulator. He he agreed with Kendrick. So, you know, yeah, how but are you going to agree with what both, he's saying? But both sides were both sides were proving that they were both they both lied on each other. Which one? Which Kendrick was like, the lie? Like there's no daughter. There's no, oh, there, oh, yeah, like there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like okay. both yeah. sides have been proved that they both lied on each other. Yeah, it's just yeah. like nobody cares that both sides. It's they both oh, lied. Maybe, on each, maybe yeah. Kendrick is the one that didn't admit that he's a liar. Yeah, and that's, and then, that's literally the only yeah. difference. Yeah, yeah. And, and nobody's like, talking. Yeah, yeah, I'm a master. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's like you can't know, believe anything both I say. Both y'all niggas done lied. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's whatever. Like so it's like y'all did the same thing to each other. But now at this point, like. Now I guess we have to count who lied more. You know what I'm saying? Like or or who admitted to being a liar. Yeah. Right, Cause, right. Because right. like I said, with Kendrick, at this point, he doesn't even have to address the the whole situation because because that would be a cornball thing to do in a beef is put yourself on the defensive like that. Um and Kendrick yeah. didn't put himself Kendrick didn't put himself on the defensive. He's like, no, no like I'm gonna just keep pushing, I'm gonna keep pushing. Only a cornball would do the move of make a track that's just basically like, no uh, I didn't do that. Yeah. 
in a Talking about with the hard part six? Yeah, yeah I didn't know. That, um, that, was, that wasn't even a diss track. That was a defense track. Oh, that sure. was so <laughs> str- It was so strange. Because, I mean, even when we were listening <laughs> to it in the car, I was like, I don't I know what's happening. I listened to it one time and never again. Yeah. I had to listen to it a couple times because the first time I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm like. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and listen. It's kind of low energy. Through the tower. What's literally- happening right now? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Are you fighting back? This no, energy, no, no. and then you start talking, and then <laughs> man was defeated. Was, you can no, t- he he ended the beat by saying, "Yeah, well, that was uh, that was <laughs> right. Yeah. Exercise, like, I, was, like, I, oh. I was like, what the get, fuck? Get the glutes going. Yeah, a man can only crazy. take with so that much. That was crazy. You know? Yeah, yeah that was crazy. It. So from that moment, I was like, hmm, I think it's over. <laughs> yeah, I okay. knew it was over at that point. Yeah. It was too, over too, with. It was he, over with. He had flown too close to the sun, I think. That's all. And he made a hit out of it. It was a good back and forth, but... uh. Yeah, I mean, some of the things well, it was that... was back uh, and forth and forth and forth. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> back and forth in general. Because it's like, if we're only... Like, a lot of people, I feel like they're just, like, missing it. They're forgetting about, like, the Taylor made. There was mm-hmm. more records than we're not... The The records we're weighing the heaviest right now are mm-hmm. Euphoria, For Not sure. Like Us. Mm-hmm. Um, Family the Matters. Family Matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meet the Grams does, isn't even talked about anymore. Not that much. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the, the one, yeah. Yeah, it's not it, about it, it served it as, its purpose. As, um, it yeah, served, it served right. its purpose. But those, al- those but songs yeah. were charting on the charts more than Drake songs. Yeah, so do you care about that argument? What? That whole, the charting the shit. Um, well, it, it just garners like popularity. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. That, that's all it is. So I think it is important to a certain extent. Yeah, because like when people were bringing it up, in my mind, I'm like, first of all, we're about to just see record breaking streaming numbers in general. We've never seen two. Battle. We've never seen two rappers at the height of their career go back and forth like this. Yes. So it's about to be record breaking numbers across the board. You know what I mean? Right. So um, like, I know when like certain people were including that into their argument. What, I'm was like, it? Was oh yeah. Well, what yeah. his was I think it was topping before the Kendrick stuff started flooding in. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sure so it was just yeah. Well, all well of, it's everybody just like was an additional records. punch. Well, it's like an additional punch. You're punching him on the records and then you're punching him on the charts too. So it's like a double whammy. I guess, yeah. I don't know that 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 argument seemed like just completely irrelevant to me, though. At least, it's just right. because I'm just you're just looking. I'm just looking at nigga who lost. You know what I'm saying? Who won? And who lost? Yeah. But yeah, man. Not like us goes crazy. Yeah. I listen to it every day violently. And I violently. and I find it funny how right like back, uh, right I find it funny how people would like some of the during this as well. A lot of the Kendrick stands or supporters would. Almost like there was this like smugness or look downness on Drake fans because they're like, sorry, he didn't write a hit that you can dance to or yeah. women can shake their ass to. But nigga, the one that we, even y'all care about the most mm. is not like us. So yeah. like, let's yeah. not act like that shit don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, twerking and cripping. Man, it's the same thing. You can dance to like oh, you can pop ass. Yeah, you can pop ass as long yeah, yeah. as as long Absolutely. as it's got enough rhythm to pop ass or crip walk on. Yeah, it, it serves the same Plenty. purpose. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. just like funny how like leading up to this niggas was like looking down on the people who were like, yeah, I don't. Think, in my mind, it's an added bonus if you give me a hit and a diss record. Well, I mean, but it's a, but it was like this. Yeah. But it was this look. But then now the one that wait, the, they were the looking deal down we, on y'all. They, they were looking down on Drake fans because because the, Drake stuff is danceable. Yeah, pretty much. Like there were pretty much people were people if, were if si- these walls can talk. People danceable. people were people were aligning the fact that if you were a Drake fan. That means you like a lower quality of music just because you can. It's simple, I, simple, digestible. You can dance. Yeah, melody based. You yeah. said digestible last time, right? Digestible. Yeah, yeah. I said I did. I, yeah, yeah. So it's like you. There was almost a smugness where it's like, oh, you don't even understand music anyway. If Kendrick is an, is, isn't your obvious favorite because it's right. a deeper level to music and stuff. It's like no, nigga, I like both. It's just right. I'm not an idiot for liking Drake and uh, yeah. records I can dance to and are more digestible. Mm-hmm. I can still understand the Kendrick, but. I'm not about to just side with this nigga just because he has deeper concept of music, and I'm not no idiot because okay. I, I because I'm I like the 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 other ones. You know what I'm saying? It's possible yeah. to just like as those. much. Yeah. But so that's why that was the energy and like the smugness that a lot of, a lot of like Kendrick people had. But then, like I said, not like well, us. Well, I mean, well, it's, 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 it's the, that's the one that. But it's still, the but the smugness is still there the regardless most. because the, the smugness is still it hasn't disappeared since not like us. It's probably got even stronger. Because it's like now our boy has a hit that's bigger than everything yeah, Drake put out. <laughs> yeah, since. but it's just like, but that discredits the other point. Though. Right. Which point? Yeah, you see. It, it discredits the other point. That means. Well, well first of all, this is a, a point matter. I haven't heard 
personally? Yeah. The point, uh, so, you know, you're, you're bringing Maybe this up to me, or, or have you perceived it this way? Or? No, this, then this is my point. If you haven't heard it, this is my point as somebody who wanted Drake to win at or the did, Or is it based on just how you felt like, from the no. smugness? Or? He's, even that's how, those were some of the Kendrick memes going viral and shit like that. You know what, what I mean? Like, memes? it would be like, you know, and throughout this whole time period, it'd be memes and gifts on both sides, right? Same you know, way. like. Pretty much saying like you're an idiot. Like they'll put a compare and contrast thing. Like, but what a, does that have to do with danceable beats? What are you talking about? You said danceable is like. Oh, sorry, he didn't give you a danceable. I'm not, song. Yeah, I'm talking to the smugness. Yeah, you're just talking about the deepness and all that stuff. Yeah, I've seen that's, that. That's where yeah. I'm at. Yeah, the so one about the danceable thing. Yeah, that's and they the part and, I'm they, like, and they correlate that remember. to making easily digestible danceable music. That but if these walls can talk, is talk is danceable. I don't think you get what. Do y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know what he's saying? So you're you're saying that most people think that it's a it's like it has to be all one way or all the other. So it just it has yeah. to be just, just lyrical yeah. okay. like yeah. so, yes. boom bap okay. you know, right. thing. Like, but I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm, stuff, I'm losing like, it in the point. I'm losing the point right now. Uh, get it back. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, well, no. I'm not trying to make a point. I thought the point was established and understood. But no, then now it, we're it going. Wasn't. But now we're going back. So I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, try again. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I missed it. That's what I'm like. Yeah, yeah, I missed it. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you think I'm trying to say? I have so no I idea know. what you're trying to say. <laughs> so you tell me. Okay. What I'm <laughs> saying is the funny, one of the another funny part that I, I observed throughout this entire beef is Kendrick Lamar fans who were on the Kendrick side heavy had a smugness and looked down upon the people who wanted Drake to win because Kendrick's music is a more artistic and an elevated style of music that you might not be able to dance to every single song and it might not be an automatic hit, but musically it's the most elevated. And there was a looking down upon on the people who were riding and supporting for Drake because his music is more digestible, not as artistically inclined. So okay. you had to be stupid to even go with Drake as a, like, they would relate your likeness, your uh, liking to Drake as like, oh, you're just, you're not even intelligent enough to even understand Who's better? So like John Wick and Inception or something. John Wick and Inception. Yeah, because you know Inception is like you know a thinky okay. thing, whether whether you get it or not. And, and John Wick is more understandable as an action movie and all that. Right. So it, it's kind of like. Oh like, yes, yes. Drake yes, is yes. John Wick. Yes. Like, Kendrick is Inception. So Kendrick fans are, are basically you said they're they're kind of writing off your whole taste in music basically because you, and 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 and, and at certain taste. points maybe uh, relating it to intelligence too. Sure. Yeah, yeah. but do you think there's Which a no? There's no no. Problem. No, I don't know. No, okay. Yeah, I'm, but um, but uh, and, and wrapped up into that as well too. Yeah, is Drake makes a bunch of hits, tricky ass, okay. dancey shit. Gotcha. And it's like my nigga makes Mozart pieces, <laughs> but the one that sealed the deal on the entire battle is the shit that Drake does every day, and why he's uh, you know, that makes most of the time. Dance. Yeah, well, well, a hit, but not that kind of song. Yeah, obviously yeah, yeah, not that yeah. kind of song, but that type and of it's hit. It's not like though. Kendrick never had hits before. We know that, anything. but one yeah. is clearly known for it, and the other one is just known for making hits, but also beautiful pieces of art. Yeah. Uh, like bodies of work, you know what I'm saying? Sounds more I know valuable. what you're saying. I don't yeah. yeah, he's been for That's what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about? Okay. It's like, it sounds like something pr worth preserving. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but you, you get what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, you yeah, get, yeah, thank you. you. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, he just did it. Man. He literally just did it. Yeah, no, I did it. I think he just. I think he just decided that he wanted to tell you. No, no, no. I woke up today and chose something. I chose violence. That's I'm like confusion. Because look, because I'm over here like I don't know what else he wants me to tell. I feel like I made it so clear he's just choosing violence. Yeah, no, just, I think he was just trying to frustrate you in your point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I, was like. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, man, not like us. Yeah. yeah that's man, all that yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not like Well, uh, look, you can say whatever you want about Kendrick. The one th uh, the, the reason why I thought it ended beautifully yeah. is because it took us just like anything poetic, like any poetic narrative, it took us right back to the very beginning, to the bars that started it all. Fuck the big three. It's just big B. You're saying and, like and he said Cole dropped out, you're saying. One thing you can say about, well, over the past couple oh, of weeks, he kind of he kind of proved his point. Yeah. Yeah, Because yeah, the first out guy the forfeited. Way. Yeah. And the second guy was defeated. Right. One yeah, guy left right. Le one, <laughs> one guy left standing. Sure. So if there's one thing you can say about Kendra, you cannot say that he's not a man of his word. There is one thing that I want to throw in. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure if it was just up to Kendrick with this situation because what he had thrown out was the whole 
the other piece was the pedophile situation. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we don't and have no proof on that either. Yeah, yeah. but the yeah. thing is, it's, it's not it too. that it's not evidential for it. it's like, yes, he was a uh, whatever. I don't know how to say it right now. Uh, like, yeah, uh, PDF file? Yeah, PDF file. Yeah, PDF file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. We can't say that he was that, but the thing mm -hmm. is, <clears throat> he was evidentially talking to young women. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he had, an, he had enough weird things surrounding it to where we were, like, comfortable just... Just saying it that it was happening. Right, right, I right, think, right, yeah, right. That's another thing. Yeah, that the fact that there was weird things, it's easy to throw his labels that's on yeah, it like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking that he just put out the whole PDF file thing just to make the punch stronger. Right, right. But, and, then, <laughs> and then Drake on the, the hard part six, you know, you know, I don't look twice at no teenager. Just once, but not twice. Um, yeah. But it's like... I think I think he was playing semantics with that because I I believe Drake in the sense that I don't think he's on some Weinstein Epstein right. stuff. Take I don't think on. I don't think yeah. he's on that and Drake is just kind of just pushing that in. Right. But um but I think he was just playing the semantics of that because it there is sort of visual proof that he's at least if anything a groomer, you know? Where, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely yeah, yeah. Some, like, creepy uncle shit. Putting putting yeah. that blanket. Yeah, yeah, because a groomer yeah. is just like the, the the PDF file leap, loophole, <laughs> where it's yeah. just like, well, I'm not effing them now. I've just, I've just known them since they were 18 or yeah, uh, or, since or, they were 15, 15 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah 12, 13, 13, and all that stuff, yeah. and then get them to like you, and then so when they turn they are, 18, smash. Yeah, yeah, which is fucking weird. It is weird. That is weirdo behavior. Yeah, especially when it's like. Especially when it's like a seven year gap or a five year gap. Like nigga, you've been working with you've been like you've been doing you it. You've been just like Yeah. Well, coaching you know for them. five years. Yeah. The level of dedication is disgusting. You the know long, what I'm saying? He's like playing a that's, long game. That's yeah. crazy. I hate play, that. Coaching play a is long crazy. play a long <laughs> games like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's insane, dog. Oh, yeah. Poaching uh, Oh, so so my I, <laughs> Yeah. My my and, and then my my control. last question, I guess to to wrap it all wrap it all up was um I think you said, uh, or do you still think that Kendrick is crazy despite the fact that he hasn't dropped a disc consistently for the past couple of weeks like you confidently prophesized? I didn't think I confidently prophesized. I think you I- sounded pretty confident. Yeah, well, I thought- I thought said, the, I, I think he's insane. <laughs> I did think it was insane. going it to drop like, every It seemed day like he was uh, unhinged, and that was, the, that yeah. was the rumor in the talks, too. Yeah, so do you still think that he's unhinged no, I mean, since he hasn't done it? No, because, I mean, he hasn't shot past his mark. Yeah. So he, it was a clean. I agree. Yeah, it was a clean win. He didn't yeah. shoot. If he'd have shot past his mark, mm -hmm. he still would have won. But we'd have just been looking at him crazy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. But no, he. It was. It's a clean battle. Yeah, yeah. Hey man. Yeah. Hey. He, lo he lost, man. I know you chose yeah. violence. I just, I'm too high, man. Too high. Too high. Plus, he's like, I can't, I can't. I know defeat when I see it. You know what I'm saying? How hard can I go? This nigga lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What's the point making a case for making a case for? Well, well, I guess the the case was just in in terms of like you know because I feel like the oh I I cut myself off earlier. I was saying like the the reason why I like the way it turned out is because and the over the overwhelming support for Kendrick what that showed me was that the culture is ready to embrace realness again. You know. Over now, just, I'm not, you know, I'm not sold on that. Nah, I'm not that's, sold on that that's at a, all. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. And that's the reason okay. I'm not sold on that is because culturally, still one of the biggest things was like they doubled down on like Drake is an actor that mm -hmm. acts white and shit, right? That like yeah. and or yeah. um, calling him white boy or whatever, calling him white boy, and he's imitating black culture oh, and yeah, things yeah, of yeah. that nature. Yeah, sure. uh -huh. You know what I mean? But the yeah. culture has been riding with Drake for over ten years. Saying nigga every time he says it. No, no, no. You know yeah, yeah. Saying? That's like, why I'm saying like that's why I'm so happy you, this beef showed that the the culture is sort of drawing a line in the sand. They're not because they're gonna be what? the next hit that Drake has and niggas in the hook. Mm -hmm. Every black person that has something to say about him acting black will be singing every single lyric. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, so I don't think this oh. matters that much. Yeah. Oh, oh so that's, they just they 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 chose they yeah. chose that they chose a the side. They chose the right side. They, they, they chose the side. They chose the culture. Yeah. One time in this beef. Yeah. Wait till the hit comes out. Right. Okay. And Drake okay. says nigga every other word. We all gonna be singing it. Oh, did, this the did same he, people does he have it with a does he have a new one with sexy red or something? He that does. was just a verse over that BBL oh, that Drizzy. that was a verse that he was featured on. Yeah, and then I, it wasn't even a real verse because it only lasted for like a two or 
two days max. Was and then his B- verse BBL got pulled Drizzy, off. The BBL the, Drizzy beat. The thing. Yeah, 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 the one that Metro made oh, I during thought, I this beat. I thought beef. it was its own song. Oh, I thought it was like a, like a, a different If thing. it's its own song, I didn't see that. I missed that. So I didn't oh, even hear yeah. that. Yeah, it's a sexy red song. And that's, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, so it's a sexy red song, but then like throughout the record, the beat switches to BBL Drizzy joint. So gotcha. he starts ah. off with a verse on her song, and then it like switches to BBL Drizzy, and then it's and like then he comes back. Yeah, but he it's, it's through his verse. So his verse is on the regular beat, and then the beat kind of switches. Ah, you hear BBL Drizzy gotcha. come in, and then he yeah yeah. So I heard that. I yeah, heard yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard oh, that. Oh, okay. But he hasn't. It just a Drake feature or a Drake song has Drake's not song by himself. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Okay. And honestly, he'll probably drop. I don't know if he's. I'm interested to see how he comes back if he's gonna. And it was funny too because like because because he lost when he mm. would pop out. When he started like being in public, in it became a thing. Like what do you mean? the headline was first time spotting Drake since the uh, end of the battle. Yeah, like that was a headline, and I was like, right. "Damn, this is a big deal." Because if Kendrick pops up somewhere, just the first time we've laid eyes on Kendrick since yeah. the end of the battle, you know, yeah. Yeah. niggas are gonna be trying to look at his health. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> is he glowing? You know what I'm saying? And we How do you and, lose him yeah, weight? and we looking at Drake like, does, are the, is How do his, you feel? Yeah, does he have dark circles around his eyes? Is this nigga <laughs> fucked up right now? Is he like yeah. his life force? So yeah, oh, so, so you guys think that like this beef will not turn his career in, uh, or trajectory where he was? And remember, well, Who, our minds open for not wishful thinking. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking logically. Oh, logically, I'm talking yeah. objectively. Yeah, you don't think it has de- is going to bo- do a little dent in his credibility at all? Credibility on the rap. He took he took a he took a rapper L. He took a rapper L. Okay. He's still a pop star. He's still an entertainer. And he's still no, a, no, no. Yeah. I know the white people will always be there. Because even yeah, after yeah. that, they started posting about all the Ghost Rider songs, all the songs that Drake didn't oh, write. I, yeah, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, they, yeah, they started yeah. going yeah, crazy. Like they started, old songs. And, yeah, but yeah. in terms of like, is this about to crush? Oh, I, okay. Well, I see, but yeah. then that's another thing too. Because it's like, yeah, when he comes back with a hit, he's going to have his whole team orchestrated and all that stuff. So then, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. A hit makes niggas forget everything. Nothing I want to say. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I don't think, like, I think certain people will forget. I don't think everybody will be forget, but but that's to be seen. You know, whenever he drops a, a song, we'll see the the craze and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know? we're going to see. Like, yeah, if, yeah. if he just follows up with a hit, which... He will. He will. <laughs> he yeah. will. He will. <laughs> I don't see he how will. he doesn't it's follow all, up with a hit. Great. Yeah, 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 but you know? you're, you're saying that as if he's doing it by himself. Nobody, yeah, the, Shane. The, we knew that yeah. over yeah. ten years. We knew this nigga didn't write everything. This came that came out in like what 2010. <laughs> we knew 2010? that for we we when him and Big Sean were going back and forth. Niggas are still playing Drake. Niggas already you know knew. Like, yeah. he, stole, like, he stole Big Sean whole flow. Yeah, like, like, we, everybody knew. Quentin Miller. That no was his whole thing. Him and Meek falling out. We yes. knew. And we back, knew. Back then we knew care. officially. Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Back, back then, back, we didn't care. No, no, no. <laughs> back then, we cared because that was our first. It was like the no, proof hip-hop was, heads care because yeah, the but like the proof was like slapping in our face. You talk, oh, you're talking about yeah, the collectively of hip hop. Yeah, like the people they cared, but now it's like now it's kind of like out in the open to the 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 point where like basic hip hop listeners kind of know that that narrative now. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's gonna give a fuck. I really don't. It's so many rappers that don't write their own shit now. Put it this way: for y'all's sake, put it. It's for the best way. For y'all's sake, I hope you're right. (laughs) Well, so what do you? So what do you imagine then? What do you mean? What do you imagine if since since our way seems like just unrealistic? What do you think his career will turn into? Do you think Um, it'll be a uh, definite decline? Do you think his numbers? His he won't be able to sell stadiums. Not decline, but but first week sales. Like, where do you see it going? I don't, I don't know if it'll be like past ones, like 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 you know the record sales, like when when it comes out, like when it first comes out. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's gonna be like the first ones because, like I said, knowing the people in my circle and uh, the people I know who I've kind of like just backed away from Drake because yeah. of this whole beef and all that stuff, and then the whole groomer situation, you're gonna have people backing away because of that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to see because the groomer stuff, when, when he was in his heyday, that wasn't a big news thing. Now it's all out in the open, you know, whether, whether ex- yeah. uh, exaggerated or not. But, it's, it's, but, but, but I think some people are going to take that to heart where they're just going to be like, I'm not going to support a groomer. In terms of what? Like in terms of record terms sales, of, buying tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure some people are just going to back away from him as an artist in general. You know? I don't care about that. They want to no. be that. They want to be that. Oh, they want to well, be that. Of, they, of they, course. They, 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 they. they. There, are, they. there always they? will be. The fans. There always will be people that all back the away, thing? of course. But 
Yeah, yeah, be, yeah, that, yeah. So that's why I'm saying that's that going to be the difference. Are not gonna stop. I, think the, I think the percentage oh, oh, is much, yeah, the, the percentage in my mind is much lower than what it might be in your mind. It is. Pretty Do you think like 20 percent of Drake fans are going to? I have no idea. I'm just saying. Away? I feel like there's probably going to be a difference, but we'll put a we'll, 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 we'll put a parameter on it since you you want to huh? stick to you want to stick to it. Put a parameter uh, uh, on it. Like we'll we'll wait. No, no, no. You can't hold me to the fire. You can't hold me to a fire for Sean and not put at least yeah put a rough parameter on it. Twenty percent. My I, I'm, step I'm away. Thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because of the whole groomer stuff and 20? how that twenty is a big number. Twenty is a big number. Ten. That is a big number. That, that's, well, that's a big well, number. Yeah. Twenty is a big because number. Because in my mind, because it's in my mind, okay, five, as big as the number five, of people 5%. who were supporting Drake in this whole beef. You know, because mm-hmm. like I said, there were more people supporting Kendrick than supporting Drake. I think that's going to be a telltale sign of how it's going to be from this point on. Mm. And he might take a, his career might yeah, decline yeah. Okay. between 10 to 20%. I think what matters is if, if anything, if anything concrete comes out, if anything at any point that's like, that backs up any of the accusations from Kendrick, maybe then he might lose that 20%. We have to have wait, 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 on wait, both which sides. Which ones? What do you mean? I think he's just saying in general, if we get concrete facts on anybody's, what they said about sure. him, then that a pers- high that of a, a, a person. Groomer? No, that his uh outside of like, that, like yeah, uh, I'm saying, like, I'm saying like a woman comes forward and she has a, oh. she wants the press charge, she has an actual Some story, shit like she wants that. to tell yeah, about like, Drake yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something really at that com- point, I think it day might, free, yeah. day free and the mom coming out and saying sure. like this is my son or something. Like mm-hmm. we get hardcore facts on some of the on anything mm-hmm. that, that was said back and forth, then we might see a twenty percent. Sure. I'm surprised we haven't minutes. seen anything from Dave Free and his wife coming out. Yeah, since. which means both niggas was lying on each other. Hey, they they both could be lying on each other. Yeah. Or or oh, one, yeah, 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 or, yeah, yeah, or one right. side is just holding strong because yeah, he's even if the we stuff and he's like even if we have that. this drama, it's like I'm still on the Kendrick side at the mm-hmm. essentially True. my baby mama and my business partner. Like we're still mm-hmm. on that side. I can't. I'm not about to just like come out with a DNA test in the midst of your battle. We need you to win at the end of the day. You know, so yeah. even if that shit is true, <laughs> we're not going to know that shit until that child is 18, nigga. Pretty, like, yeah, yeah, we'll much, figure that yeah. shit out when it's a grown-ass man. Then we're going to be looking. If this nigga comes out 6'1", we're like, that ain't his. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> if he starts yeah. looking like the other nigga, like, <laughs> we need to, this, look, this, the boy need to grow up at this point. Yeah, see, so yeah. both these niggas have lied on each other. At some yeah, point yeah. or not. Yeah, and contra- some, some and contradicted shit. each other on their morality shit. Like, um, the whole pet, uh, the whole PDF file thing yeah. on the Not Like Us cover, yeah. where it's like, Kend- Kendrick is pretty much saying, I won't even be around one. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, anybody yeah. with some sort of sexual uh, crime, but was fucking with Kodak Black. Was Kodak Black, yeah. <laughs> we like, well, what the, what, which, one, which one is it, nigga? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and, and Kodak Black, what, what did he do again? Like, because I know it was like a great... Yes, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Was multiple. Over, the, the girl. Yeah, yeah the girls. Was, I remember like one. In, I remember one in South Carolina, and it might have been more than one. It yeah. was multiple. He's yeah. been in jail like multiple times on that. It was. Yeah. It, was a, it was a pattern of behavior. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. It might yeah. Have yeah. Been yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. So okay, it's like nigga, you was you love Kodak, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I bet yeah. he loved his homeboys too. Maybe yeah. I don't know what the fuck going on. So okay, so I guess it was just a double punch of that. The, the PDF file stuff and the fact that he's not even American because Kodak Black is a black American. Right, right. right. Yeah, so it's yeah. probably like it's just a contradict overall. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you made it seem like a n- none of us, he mm. shouldn't be around none of them. And nigga, we see you kicking with one on a regular basis. Right. Yeah, they yeah. say how much you love him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm sure Drake loves his niggas too if they all chilling with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the fuck? Like, uh. <laughs> these points that we doubling down on are crazy. And then even that yeah. line in the culture saying, I'm mm-hmm. literally just waiting for Drake to drop a hit. If Drake drops a hit mm-hmm. and niggas are in an uproar because he says nigga, then I'll say there's a line drawn. No, 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 no. I, I, but that they, ain't about they, to happen. No, because they would have been in an uproar about just, nigga if or when family, family Matters came out because he started out, nigga, I said it. Yeah, know, so yeah. People would have been in an uproar about that already. So I don't yeah. even think it's the N-word thing. So yeah, yeah, man. So I think niggas don't be on code. Niggas will get on code like every so often. Mm-hmm. But niggas ain't on code. Nah, not for, for real. This, yeah, not for yeah. real. Like, and like in terms of like a real black code, niggas ain't on code. I think people yeah. were just genuinely entertained. Yeah, that's like, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. niggas was like, oh, we on code. It was like when niggas started wearing dashikis to the Black Panther <laughs> intro. Yeah, yeah. Niggas wasn't wearing that the following <laughs> week. The week just yeah. week to yeah, we, we we on code today. Yeah, Shut yeah, yeah. Up. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, like? But but I guess then it's yeah. like, you know, then how come those are those ones who are not on code. Why? 
the ones who are not on. Because if, if it was sort of a Black Panther, hey, we're all yeah, together like, kind of like, thing. It's almost like, on, why almost like the, the other black side then? Niggas aren't on code. You see, this is a deep question. Why, why are niggas not on code? Yeah. Niggas don't care. It's because, bro, it goes back to slavery, bro. It's like, it's like niggas don't work together. It's, it's taking you know? back. Yeah, like it, it's, it's one of those. It's yeah. like, we can't all get even if we weren't, food. even if we're not on code in terms of this rap beef slash culture beef, we're not on code politically. We don't have no leaders. Mm -hmm. When we do get a leader, they pop one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's no real communities. We yeah. don't, there's no whatever like that. And even, and even at times when we have built the Black Wall Streets across the Americas, they got burned down, yeah. shit like that. You know what I mean? We've been beaten to a certain extent, but then at the same time, since segregation, we really don't fuck with each other. We were doing better in segregation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah, it's, it's like, choice, yeah, uh, it's Black like, Wall Street and the, the crack yeah, epidemic. And, and yeah, um, so, it's so many things. We're not getting eight married. We, in segregation, we're getting married at an 80% rate. Yeah. The shit down to like 30 do you, you know what I'm saying? Think, like um, niggas just in general aren't on code. We yeah, but do you, do you guys think right now? Um, the like, world was on code during George Floyd. George, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple years and, later, and even that, looking back and, on that. And the only like, reason why we had so many people on code because niggas was stuck at home. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like yeah. then everybody had a chance to get on code. Yeah. yeah. So do you guys think that it has anything? Because I don't know if you guys seen like this video that's been going kind of viral, um, but it's this young black woman basically saying that black culture i'm paraphrasing but there's something like okay. black culture is dead and hood culture is to blame have you guys oh. seen like that uh video like, I, i've seen that around I see, i've seen like maybe a I couple mean, of black people uh I, I, react to it i'm with it you know what i'm saying yeah. they, they, oh, just, well, that's just, what i was gonna ask yeah you just guys, in the title like, alone yeah that's what it is black culture is not, yeah for like six minutes she kind of just yeah. like really just looked at the camera and said why she thinks see, it look, is look and, look that up yeah. on youtube because it's, like a, it's like a TikTok it. or some shit like that? Um, no, no. It, it was on YouTube. What, was, it? Uh, what black, was the title again? Black culture is dying. Black culture is dead. Put, put that. There she is. The second video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Here is my little two cent that nobody asked for. I have seen this girl, actually. I am sick of seeing black Americans in the media, on social media, in the news, doing crime, walking around next to naked, the women, the men perpetuating gang violence, substance abuse. The absolute worst of our community is oversaturating the media, even though they make up a small percentage of all of black Americans. The decay of our morality within black communities has been slowly declining over the past 20 years. And no one is talking about it. No one is saying anything about it or trying to address it. And if you do, you are often told that you're policing black bodies. If you say black women, stop getting on the internet and in, and in the media, twerking, walking around with little clothes on. You're, 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 can, people tell you that you're uh, policing, policing bodies, policing black bodies, or it's respectability politics. If you are black and you speak your piece on what we're seeing in the media, if you don't like seeing the, the, the low morality that is often portrayed about the black community in the media, from the, the trap music to the black women twerking and music videos and all over social media, the Sukihanas and the sexy reds of the world. If you are black and you take issue with it and you talk about it, you are usually called bourgeois, sadiddy, uppity, it's respectability politics, you're policing black bodies and the like. And it's like, no, I'm black too. And as such, this being my ethnic culture as well, I have a right to have something to say about what I'm seeing going on. Your average black American is a middle class, working class, blue collar Jane and Joe. The ghetto subculture, black ghetto subculture that we see often portrayed and over inundated and oversaturating the media, those black Americans make up a tiny, tiny percentage of black Americans as a whole. Yet mean, but somehow they're in the media, um, overcompensating in the media, oversaturating the media. I know I don't just speak for myself when I say that I'm sick of seeing it, that it's gross, that it is destroying what black culture actually is. It's co-opting black culture as a whole and making it seem as though all of black culture is ghetto subculture. I'm not the only black American who takes issue with it. Because like I said, majority of black America is middle class, 
not in the ghettos, not out here perpetuating gang violence, promiscuity, and everything else. And I don't care if... You know what's crazy? Is this the same shit that Kevin Samples was saying? Oh. This is literally the same shit Kevin Samples was saying. He had an issue with, like, 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 pull up your pants The whole thing thing is messed up. He was like, and uh, just going off the title... Ghetto blacks are to blame. Yeah, yeah. I don't I, I think. Didn't even, I yeah. thought it was like hood culture. It's like, oh shit, ghetto blacks are to blame. No, I don't think ghetto blacks are to complain. I think it's the ones who to, know better blame. doing everything that they that the ghetto blacks are doing. It's like everything is visual. Kevin. Oh, Sam- oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're see right. What I'm you're saying? right. You're right. Like yeah, Kevin yeah, Samuels yeah. was saying, he was saying, y'all don't understand this, but the way women walk around now, and the way like all women of all levels, that's why it's fucked up. The woman who's like upper class doing well or, you know, middle class or whatever is doing the same shit that bitch in Section 8 is doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Visually out no, in the no. open. Because it has permeated the culture. So it's like and showing you this is what it is to be black. So then yeah. even if you're in the suburbs, you're walking around like you're in the ghetto. You're speaking like you're in the ghetto. You're dressing like you're in the ghetto. And, but but the thing is, it's like, well, to her point, it's like, no, wait, is anybody here living in the ghetto or... No. In, in this room, no. Yeah, so, so no. that's I what I'm saying. Uh, so it's even a point that well, most yeah. most black people that we're in her position, where we're right, kind of right. fairly middle, middle class, right, right. But sure. the fact that the ghetto, I guess, part of black culture is what is representing us. I think it's like for the most part culture, almost more than like ghetto culture or whatever you want to call it. I don't. Know. It's definitely representing yeah, well, hip hop. That out I'm not disputing. Yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking about whose fault is it actually? Mm-hmm. I think it's the fact that. We know that's not the majority, but the the woman. This goes to her point as well, too. Oh, do we? The, the girl. I think that's her the point. Gir- do we? No. Yeah. She. We do know because I think. We yeah, know. we do know. We know because she's saying. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like the girls that even know the difference are still doing it because if you speak against it, then you're the fucked up. You're the problem. You're brainwashing is bo- brainwashing. Yeah, you're policing the bodies and all that yeah, other yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. But yeah, it was funny because I was watching this Kevin Samuels video and he was saying like the way that a lot of women walk around now. Um, like with the way they're like over sexualized outfits, like you can still be sexy without like literally showing us everything, yeah. but like over sexualized outfit, super long nails, long weaves, shit like that. He was <laughs> like, he was like, yo, we used to actually have to not, go to- not all of them. Catching, not all of them. She's always <laughs> catching strings. There are exceptions. Sorry. There are exceptions. There's exceptions. <laughs> but look, exceptions to every rule. But long story short, going on back the couch. to what I was saying, what I'm pretty much saying is, he was like, we used to have to go to the strip club just to see that. Literally, there used to be a time and a place for it. But he was like, that's every day now. Like all what over we, your, well, what, when we used to watch TV. But, yeah, but, like, but all, we used to have to go to the strip club to see that specifically. But now yeah. we go open IG, yeah. go to the club, like, and it's it's up like that. Or maybe not the club, but, you know, just like every day. Yeah, right. so, yeah, oh, go ahead. I was, I was going to say, I mean, what if, okay, so it's, what if it's just a fashion trend thing, though? What if it's just like any other trend is going to go away? Go away. It's been doing this for the past 25 years. I feel like it's like, uh, so like well, you have nails covering you. Say, you say, this you this is just us now. Just like when you ask if anybody live in the projects, like a lot of us came from the projects. So maybe it's room? just like, a, I mean, I did. I, I don't didn't. know about nobody else. Okay. Oh, well, so you're the one I'm talking about, okay. So me and people that I know, I guess, that don't yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? Right. I live in fucking Wakefield. Right. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it come from the front from the yeah, project. So, so, so to, it might to be, your point, so some you're people well it might represented. be it might be you know what I'm saying deep rooted in that like okay yeah. like yeah, I'm out of there but that was their culture at one point. Wait, you know who's what I'm saying? Co- who's culture? like the ghetto? If you, culture. If you were in the co- if you were in the ghetto, that is your culture. Is what you're right. saying? Yeah, just like rednecks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're right. in their culture. So but now red, that I'm out of just you can take the bitch out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the bitch. Sure, right, right, right. That's that's what it is. But why aren't rednecks the defining? Um, outlook of white people in general, because I mean, ne- like poor niggas are basically our rednecks. They have because a pretty. You know, I know what it is. I know why it is. I yeah. know why it is. Yeah. It's white people. They're regulating what we see. Niggas, niggas love ghetto bitches. Niggas love ghetto shit. True. Of all levels, white people hate poor whites. No, I don't know. Yo, country music, I don't know, man. Country, country music, music is all about doing poor white music, shit. But they're musically talented. Well, though. I guess to her sure, point. Sure. Yeah, her okay, now, point is why do we like it? <laughs> white people, call I a mean, white person white trash, that's offensive. <laughs> like, 
that shit gets to him. If you're, oh, like, oh, you're saying if, as a non, yeah, as a yeah, non-white yeah, person, yeah, yeah, have yeah, y'all yeah, been yeah. around like real, was, real rednecks? They, they say that shit like a lot. It's not since high school. Okay, they, I, I knew like yeah, one, they one, especially, with, especially with my job. I yeah, spent for sure. extensive time with some rednecks. They self-identify as white trash. I feel like a they lot. do. They for do. sure. They oh, so it's not even an insult. No, they're not. They are the they are the white niggas. From me to them, it it's an insult. I think. Maybe, yeah. right? No, no, no. Calling a person who's not white trash, white trash. Oh, yeah. oh that. Oh, okay. okay, calling like a yeah, suburban yeah. kid yeah, fuck they who's white trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, don't do that shit. Like, yeah. they say that to each other. Right. Like, <laughs> like that's how they look down on each other. Like, she's just like white. trailer park trash. Yeah. Ooh, I used to fuck them up in middle school with that one. Yeah. So fuck them yeah, up. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That like, yeah. not a trailer yeah. park. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, what you were saying, I'm so you were saying that it's because white people are controlling our their representation image, they're, they're controlling their image oh they, yeah of course because they, yeah. they run the shit we're not well, 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 we're first, not first of all their, Im- their image is everything you right know? yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah, have yeah. your suburban white kid you can have your goth white kid your metal head your country boy your uk yeah. guy you know like you know what well, is white, ain't really? white trash yeah yeah and southern exactly. white you know you're southern white but what i'm saying is the none of them dominate the other <laughs> you know yeah but but black people how many subcultures do we have I mean, I mean, well, we, 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 we have a lot. We have a lot. You know, you have the island version of us. Yeah, you have all that stuff. The north, the south, the east, or, you know, like yeah, the, and, and the, then you have the like regional suburban, ones. Yeah. yeah, suburban, ghetto, and, and all that stuff. Yeah. But I guess to her point, where where's the representation, the equal representation of everybody else besides the ghetto blacks, quote unquote? Mm. Uh, I, I, I'm 40 years old and I've never seen a representation of a black man like myself. Okay, so all right, so I think that, that's a that, problem. I that was in the 90s. That status, like, huh? it, it felt like 90s TV represented it better. Sure, like with all the shit that we had, maybe. I still don't remember. Well, okay, so what's like, black guy like, like me? Like, like I, I've never looked on screen and said, "Damn, that's me." The closest was probably the movie Dope. Um, you know what? It's okay. funny that you do I was say like, that. Oh, bike it's, riding, skateboarding, it's black funny that you, it's That's middle that class s- culture, isn't it? Though I mean, I feel yeah. like once you reach middle class, you just assimilate. Yeah. Oh, yes. you saying? But it's funny that you even bring that discussion up, though, because yeah. I watched the first season one of Insecure for the first time. I won't oh, divert too okay. far, so we can go back to what your point was. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But literally at the end of the season, at the end of season one, I was like. This shit is real. This is some real shit. Like, yeah. this is real. Yeah, like, I, I know, yeah. I know people like this. Yeah. Yo, like, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I was even thinking, I was like, I was even thinking, like, I was looking at Issa like, oh, I wonder, like, my sister probably relates to this a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm and, saying? And many like, girls, yeah, yeah, that don't fit like, exactly that mold of a, what a black woman is supposed to be. Yeah, and, yeah. And all that stuff. She was like the exception, you know? Yeah, so it's yeah. like. And, and thankfully that show came out. But remember, like, cause I feel like the uh, the twenty twenties is gonna be the resurgence of black intellectualism, right? Um, with this but video, that's the with, strongest representation and movies like Dope, like you said, though. Dope, yeah, yeah. yeah cause the two thousand, the the late two thousand tens, that's when you started to see like the rise of black intellectualism with Jordan Peele and and uh, Donald Glover, and um, and then like creators like like I said, like Olay's platform is getting bigger and right. FD Signifier and that whole black. I'm looking at the black space content creators and all that okay. stuff and it's starting to get way more intellectual now you right. know um so yeah i think the 2020s is going to be like the resurgence of or or the, the time black of yeah yeah black intellectuals you know and black uh, and hood culture is probably gonna it's not gonna go away but i think it's gonna uh stay in, in, in the passenger seat you know yeah. what else doesn't help though no. you know what else doesn't you're kind of you're kind of you're also kind of talking like when hip-hop was about knowledge care as one time period and shit Kind of like that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe you know what Kendrick saying? was the beginning. Maybe oh, Tupac wow. Butterfly was this the beginning. This Great War is going to usher in a new era of of of, of, black of knowledge. Of, uh, of where of like five percent is like what's the yeah. what's today's numbers? I mean, maybe people, more people will convert to Islam. I'm not. That sounds it, funny. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did we get here? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? What happened? I think convert to Islam. <laughs> I just saw Shay's holy like, like, I just saw in front of Ty he, yeah. <laughs> he was, I, I, go. Through, I can see through his glasses so I can see his eyes still like, what the fuck are you well, talking no, about I'm trying to figure out like how did we go from uh, uh, from like intellectualism to wearing a dashiki oh wait wait what I'm just saying <laughs> he said nippers and Islam last time, Shay said what <laughs> last time last time niggas was on that that last time was it was power knowledge oh itself, my gosh. and it was woke. It was a lot more Hebrew Israelites. 
people converting to Islam. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of that going on. That's all. That's all I'm oh, saying. Man. It's like okay. th- things mm-hmm. like, like these are just these are side effects. It sounds funny. But, yeah, but, no, no, we, yeah. We'll see if it goes to that extreme length or not. I, I don't know. It's if not it even will, an extreme. <laughs> it's not even an extreme length. This is not 1965 anymore. <laughs> it could happen, but it could happen though. Anything can happen. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. if we're talking about awakening black culture. Yeah, but don't be scared. I'm not scared of it. It's a good just, thing. No, I'm not scared of it. But, uh... The, the, you know, like, there's more positive that's probably going to come out of it than negatives. Yeah, but I'm not looking at it as a negative, though. Oh, just a positive. Yeah, it's only a positive. Yeah, yeah. I was just making yeah. a joke with the Islam thing. But it yeah, is yeah. real, though. That's definitely going to happen. But, yeah. It'll yeah. definitely be... It is definitely going to happen. So, I'm interested, like, even with this going viral and all that stuff, or kind of viral, whatever... Um, yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be interesting to see what the black, what black culture, and even with like the decline, the slow decline of the BBL craze, and um, I think that's already declining, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that's tor- already tor- going culture down. and all yeah. that. You know, yeah, sort I think of we're like definitely simmering down. Yeah, yeah uh, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm wondering what you know the culture is gonna look by look like by 2030. You know, mm. if this continues. You know, like if, if more artists, thing. conscious artists and all that stuff starts coming in or, or just consciousness in the black community, like I said, like online and shit, it starts growing and growing and growing, you know? I mean, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Are y'all acting like somebody does. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking like, of just about you like... Are you sad? Ratchet like, culture is going away? Yeah. <laughs> no. Because we're going to be the old... Because we're going to be, gonna be the more. old fucks in, in, in 2030. So, mm-hmm. so what? we're going to be the old fuckers. So it doesn't... Mm-hmm. We don't matter. So I'm thinking about... The generation yeah, that's I'm gonna already. be up there, yeah, right. In six years, and I'm like, this is just, that's yeah. the drug culture. Yeah, I feel like that shit's just oh, gonna yeah, get fucking right. worse. Like, they might get, just they gonna, might get closer to they're God, gonna though. start shooting up they dope get, on the fucking yeah. on, in the video. <laughs> like yeah. they're gonna be freebasing at this point. They're probably gonna go back to electronic music or something. You know what I mean? Some poke like, Cause baby tonight. Right. I'll show you better not do that. But it might open I mean, a whole like, new level of like you know how we just had like cocaine music like back in the day like in the eighties nineties like niggas was making hits. It might hey we might get some some fire fentanyl music. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think is say this is the next. Where would you like to see it in the next 10 years? If that is yeah. the wave that's taking over, yes. Um, if that is uh, what, if more consciousness e- equal, is Yeah, yeah, yeah. More equal <clears throat> out or, or just uh, consciousness in the driver's seat of the culture as opposed to in the passenger seat that it's been in for the past uh, and, 20 years or some shit, you know? Because that's where it was. I, I basically right. want to go back to how it was, you know? Like the, in the 90s, everything was good. The 2000s, the bling, all, all, you know, all that stuff, stripper culture, you know, kind of mess it up. You know, 2010s kind of escalated all of that. And now the 2020s is like the culture is kind of slowly purging itself and be like, OK, let, you know, let's, you know, let the grownups take the wheel. Yeah. Um, I don't <clears throat> yeah, you're, not, 90, you're not saying the, ni- the 90s was driven by consciousness, are you? Uh, or not. No, but there was more balance. I agree. It was balanced because there was the drug stuff, there was the gang violence, right. but you also had common. You also had Nas. Your health, you know. You also had uh, the R and B like Brandy and Monica, and you know they weren't fucking twerking and shit. You know, okay. so everything was a little more equal. Uh, equilibrium, I think, is what the culture needs right now. And I think it could. What I'm seeing now is we're slowly uh, coming to equili- equilibrium again. So you want to see? So it's going to be the like '90s more. again. You it was see definitely twerking. More wholesome. Let's yeah. not forget two live crew. Wholesome, too short. No, no. Yes, there was twerking. Yeah, but but twerking. it wasn't the only way to dance. But it also yeah. ended though. <laughs> so, do you, but it also ended though. Well, nothing lasts forever. So I'm not saying that it's going to even you're last just, forever. I'm you're saying just hoping that's the next age. era. This is you're the just, next age. You're just hoping that's what the next decade is, even if it uh, not even, you, not you even just, decade, maybe two decades. You yeah. know, like, like I'm saying, this is just an age that we're we're coming back okay. to again. You Why know, everything think- is cyclical, right? Yeah. So th- now we're coming back to that sort of like equaling everything out, getting you know, putting down some of the fuck shit a little bit. Right. You know, like, what do you think ended it before? Straighten our ties and shit. You know. What do you think ended it before? What do you think ended it before? Yeah. The the bling era, Puff Daddy, um, Cash Money. Uh, that that was the beginning of it. The beginning um, of the yeah, yeah. But but even when that came out, we still had you know. Brandy and, and all that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and even R&B. R&B is probably going to come back to you know, equal out a little bit and not just be... Um, yeah, so th- that's what started. So like, that's so what um, Questlove said. He, he was like, bling culture was probably like the beginning of the culture changing and so, going towards uh, stripper club culture and all that. And that's when it started going back ghetto again. Uh, well, well the ghetto, because to that point, ghetto was not popular ever. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was the first time that was even happening. So, so every, everything kind of like gravitated towards that. And then so, some of like what you're saying where, um, 
white people started doing that on purpose too. Like the the, the head honchos, the you know the or people at the top or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, that's that's another way to kind of <laughs> like make a whole people change their outlook is by representing them in a certain way, and they're going to assimilate for sure. Yeah. There's another thing that's I think uh, is going to be almost impossible to just kill out ghetto culture or no, no, and that's that not is. the goal either. And not, but it's like because so much of this, there is so much, there are so many gems that come from it too. Yes. So it's like yeah. So it's not gonna die. Uh, uh, well, that's where I kind of disagree with her. Uh, well, no, 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 not not the dying part, but just like well, she is right about you know the the ghetto culture. But um, I don't know what she wants. I don't know if she's just like, I want it to end. That's where I would be like, no, no, no. It's not going to end because it was always there. It was always part of the culture. You know, like, like you just said, Cherry, Two Live Crew and, and um, Freaknik and, and all that stuff. Like, it was always there. But Freaknik, but, but we, it's like everything is Freaknik now. <laughs> you know, Freaknik was Freaknik, right. and now everything is Freaknik. It's just like BET Uncut. Posing. It only came Why? on at a certain time <laughs> yeah. Yeah, BT for a certain audience. No, yeah. BET Uncut was at 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's right. It was from like yeah, 2 to Everything two became to five. Tip Drill. You know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so that's, I, I, that's her argument, and, and you know, black people like her, herself, that's their argument. Mine is just like, no, no, I don't want it to die. I don't want it to, because first of all, that's impossible. But, but it's just like, don't be the the number one representation of black people. Yeah, don't, that's not world all world that we're like, capable of. She's saying you can enjoy it without internalizing it. And like, it's not, yeah, it's not. Yeah, and, and just being, making it just the, the only thing that we see of ourselves, you know? And then, you know, like I said, that has like a brainwashing element to us, you know? Like, e I believe everything is psychology, you know? Thoughts? I don't, I don't have nearly as much. I don't have as much black people in itself, outside of music. Niggas got to get on code and niggas don't get on code. What are we talking about? It just like <laughs> this new <laughs> revelation or whatever, or like no, this is not new. or not, not new, new or balancing this has been out. A Ten year conversation. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like it's going to be a conversation forever. Yeah. Because I don't think. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, no, you want it to be a conversation forever. Or, or do wait? Yeah. What do you want, my friend? I don't think we want it to be a conversation forever. <laughs> I don't think we want it. We want it. We want it to change. We, we want it. We want something yeah, to, want to change. We do want a more <laughs> conscious thing at the forefront. But yeah, I think yeah, that, sure. I think history shows and, and record shows that like. I like don't it's really it's care. Like it's, 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 it's deeper than just. It's deeper than just. Um, yes, but it's deeper than just uh, uplifting more artistic versions of music supporting or making more black production is deeper than that. It's, it's down to how we're like structuring our households and things of that nature too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like, <laughs> what households? I don't I think everybody's going to be single in 10 years. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like, so in my mind, I see it going the same direction. What do you if, mean? If we're not building more black families and building these units and stuff like that, that's the foundation of all of it. Like, uh, I think we have to raise our kids bunch, to be prepared for that kind of a, yeah. A bunch of a, a bunch of a bunch of single black people are still in it for themselves and stuff. You know mm. what I mean? They're not they're not building their nuclear family or things like that. And for us to have a more balance and not drift more towards or lifting up ghetto shit, that's going to become with when we as a people take on more knowledge and more responsibility. And if they're not doing that as a base level, if we're not doing that as a base level. We're going to have our waves. They're going to come and go because the because the ghetto shit is going to rise to the yeah, top yeah. again. I understand. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't but feel it before as, I don't... it rises to the top again, let's make consciousness rise to the top again. And then ghetto culture the can come of, back in 20 years. The odds of that, seven, max. Conscious. Huh? You conscious, know, I don't know if it'll conscious, be conscious. Well, but even if, wait, wait, okay, I'm okay, just using the word conscious. Yeah, we're but, using the word conscious. Yeah, but I know like, you don't mean that. Back to the future. Like every movie doesn't have to be about black struggle or ghetto culture and all that stuff. It could be about us. Hey, let's. Black people just time traveling or going to the fucking mall. Right, right, they, right. Like, right. let's see black people doing shit other than, you know, the, the shit that we've been, it's been perpetuated, you know? That's what I mean. Like, I, I know I'm using the word culture, the but I'm not, I, that's why I don't want to threaten shit. anybody's yeah. IQ here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, when I'm saying, I, you know, uh, consciousness, I'm not talking about what, some I know what Albert saying. Einstein type shit. Yeah, I'm I just get saying, that. I, I was using that's consciousness not as, a, ghetto as a blanket culture. statement like you were using it. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, so just not ghetto culture. So, Let's get not ghetto culture for a while. So, okay, also, it, in terms of the, the, okay, so it's, in terms of the artists, 
that you're describing, like Kendrick, et cetera. So doesn't this burden fall on him and folks like him to produce music that people can dance to that also hits the charts that people can put on the radio and yeah. also boost it up to and, and, and filmmakers. So, and filmmakers as well. So, I mean, like, that's a lot of pressure on... And it's going to take know, a, on, on a little artists. while. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, I, I... And a lot of those guys that really were really good at that kind of have taken a weird direction. Like, Lupe Fiasco came to... I heard, I heard something about him the other day, and it's, he, he's just not... Like he, he did. Was, he did a strong like five, seven years, yeah. five, mm. six years, and then just chill. And well, he oh. got kind of radical politically. Yeah. He, did, mean, he did. He did. Yeah. He did. Hip hop wise, it just he kinda, did. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but even like another thing that's going to make it just slightly difficult too is the fact that we're not in a monoculture anymore. You know, a model. Uh, mono, mono, right, mono, sure, mono. Okay, okay. Um, you know, it's basically like you know the time before the internet when we were all on the same page. You know, like we all watch the Fresh Prince, we all watch Martin. Like exactly, we were all being we were all fed ingesting the same, the same thing. to the same music. Yeah, 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 all, yeah. we yeah. were all on the same page. Everything uh, was controlled by the same TV programmers. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now we're I forget what the opposite of a monoculture is, but wh whatever that is, everybody's but, taking their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody is in their own thing. You know, so um, that's I think that's one of the reasons why it's harder to get people all on the same page because even that the the black music, the uh, you know conscious quote unquote and shit like that shit is out there. That shit oh, is out there now by new artists. And it's always it's just been out there too. What's being pushed to us is not that. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So then that then there's the white man as well. We have to keep him in the conversation. Right, right, right. For sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, so the there, there's there's a lot of things fighting against it, but it's like if you know you're being, you know, fought against, and this is where the uh, if you can't beat them, join them thing I don't agree with. Okay. <laughs> um, I think we should pick up our swords and fight for our culture. I think we should definitely fight for our culture, yeah. for sure. I for mean, sure. And I have no problem fighting for our culture, so I'm with you 100% there. Yeah. But... Like, I know I don't the problems, see... but let's not focus on the problems. Let's focus on the solutions. How about we do that? So you're <laughs> saying, like, boycott Sexy Red. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, if right. she's like, even big, some... I mean, if you, even if she's big, she's I don't even big. know if she's... Right. I, I mean, mean if she's like popular. This... Yeah. <laughs> but, what is... but in terms of, like, I, I don't know, she's not, like, fucking Beyonce. Not so, so as AJ says, in your opinion, okay, so, yes. so in your opinion, Shane, what is a unified front that we could take right. to, like, to attack? Oh, in your opinion, yeah, in your opinion. Yeah, let's just say, yeah, yeah, sure. Or us on the Sure, yeah, let's say, like, like, what is a way that we could... Rooting for Drake, rooting for Kendrick to win. That was the first step, and you failed. <laughs> that was not the first step. That was not the first step because both these niggas are liars. So it's like so you, had to, you had to support him before yeah, yeah. the war. Going back to my original point. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah that's lyric, lyric. I'm talking about musically, you know, like artistry and and all that shit. Yeah. That was a flash in the pan. That was yeah, a, yeah. that was a big deal to us. Mm -hmm. But that was a flash in the pan in culture. Wait, so so wait, what do you mean? Just that battle in terms of everything. So what next? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, no, we just experienced history. Did we not say that? I mean, it, we, we, it was 9-11 of hip-hop. It was, it was. Kendrick flew two planes into Drake and Ovio. <laughs> but that, came but down no, but that's true. <laughs> but that, it's, and that's, you know, always, you know, never forget. But that's it. <laughs> but I'm saying it's over. So <laughs> Jeff's saying, <laughs> Jeff saying, what are we doing now? Oh, huh? shit. Jeff is saying, what's the, what's the, what's the plan now? <laughs> just keep on that wave. <laughs> keep on that wave. Keep the same energy. <laughs> you know, like of this win, just keep that same energy. Let's put uplift shit. That's like, um, well, I, as a matter of fact, it's it's kind of different for us to do or, or support support my movie. Um, of course, you, yeah. you can start there. <laughs> you know, mine is mine is on some country shit. Um, but yeah, so I can't say like for the whole culture what to do, but I guess like to her point is just sort of like less. Um, I think the first step, like in my one of my favorite movies, is Network, um, and. Uh, yeah, it was like the a Facebook 1960s movie. Mo no, 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 oh, not the social a, network. Oh, uh, that's what that network. Was called, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's a dope uh, 1960s movie about uh, a news anchor who has this awakening, and he starts telling the absolute truth on the air, and with mm -hmm. no filter. Okay. You know, like this is bad. This is what's happening. This is what the war is really about. And then, um, yeah. So, and and there's a famous scene that you you know uh, you know that commercial. Uh, it's my money and I need it now. Oh, yeah, of course. They yeah, got yeah, it from yeah. that movie because okay, okay. He would, at the end of his sermons, he would tell people to, now go to your windows and I want you to scream out. Uh, it's, uh, what is it? Um, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. You know, and he just keeps saying that and he keeps saying it. And then it has everybody looking out of their window saying, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. So what I'm saying is like, there's a scene where he says like, look, I don't know about what to do about the Russians. Um, 
I don't know what to do about this. I don't know what to do about this problem. But the first step is you got to get mad. You know, you got to say, I'm not going to take this shit anymore. You know, so if you're asking what's the first step to do, the first step is to be upset about what you're seeing and say that you're not going to take it anymore. Have you ever been here before emotionally in terms of with black culture and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. And um, wait, wait, elaborate. <laughs> like emotionally, like where you're just like, no, like we got to do better. Like, uh, how can oh, I, what, yeah, what yeah, can yeah. I do to help? Yeah. In high school, me and Sharon were always yeah. like, where, where's the representation? We, we were the only ones. Where's the representation of us? Like we, we hadn't seen anybody on screen that really represented us and every black person around us is sort of just like the black people on TV but how come we're so different and, gotcha. you know but there has to be more people out there like us we can't be the only one this Kendrick battle for you revitalized that um yeah for sure well, I'm, well, no, well, I'm it, telling it, you it showed, I'm no, telling you it I'm showed, not asking you no no no, no, no. it showed me Let's that up some shit the the, the overwhelming support showed me that's that, that black we're boy ready joy. for that. Right. That's, 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 yeah, that's yeah, we're ready for joy. that. Uh -huh. You know? We're ready for that, you know. <clears throat> it healed his inner okay. child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm saying. <laughs> it reaffirmed what you already Now it makes sense to me. Now it makes sense. We we way got, deeper. We it's found deeper, it. It's deeper yeah. for him. It, it just it I've felt right. Like I've been there. I've been there. I've been there a couple times. So what happened? I'm still no no so let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hold on, wait, Lauren. No, I've been there a couple times. I realize that if that's what I want to do and that is what I want to do, we have to do that for ourselves. Mm. I can't be waiting on these niggas to get on code because there's moments where niggas get on code and we're all in this unified front. We're angry. We want better for ourselves <laughs> and things of that nature. They all fall off. There's been time periods when I've been so motivated. Nigga, I'm looking at places to donate for, I mean, not donate, uh, volunteer my time, work with, work with kids in fucked up situations, you know, literally get myself back and things of that nature. I can't even find it. Community leaders, I'm texting and calling community leaders. I'm supposed to go to the meeting. The meeting get canceled two weekends in a row. I'm like, these niggas ain't on code. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so it's, so I've been there so many times yeah. and I've just realized I can't even, I can't even depend on anybody or wait for anybody. Whatever change I want, I have to be the one. You gotta be that change. I have to be it and oh, I have yeah, to be yeah, frontlining yeah. And especially and black so artists what, need to be that change. And especially, that's gonna, especially but, but, for but, us. So that's what I'm, but I'm I just always said that, on that. that already began. I told you like the late 2000. Tens was the beginning of that. We haven't even hit the the apex yet. You know, yeah. we still haven't gotten multiple Jordan Peels. We still haven't gotten multiple um, Donald Glovers yet. But but they're watching Atlanta. Th those black kids are watching Atlanta right now. For sure, those black kids are watching Get Out and us and Nope right now. Yeah. So in a couple of years, we will see. We're gonna have what, it. what's yeah. the result of sure. that? And, and yeah. being being fed on that. I wish I had. Jordan Peele when I was growing up. Right. Then I wouldn't have felt like that being underrepresented when I was young, you know? So the future is bright, my friend. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see <laughs> Shane's not hearing anything that I'm saying. <laughs> like, you know, Shane is in his it's, it's mode. Sunshine. Yeah, that's all I'm, like, I'm literally saying the same this. thing, yeah. but... <laughs> I'm, let's, I'm, let's, yeah. let's not focus on the negatives. Let's not focus on the positives. You know, we're we're, we're going to win. We're going to win. <laughs> yeah, we are going to win. Yeah, we are going to win. Everybody <laughs> in this room is going to win. I'm guaranteed about that. I don't know if niggas as a collective are going to win. That's what I'm saying. But I'm going to do what... I, like, all of us are going to do what we got to do yeah. to win. Like, For Stay, sure. optimi stay yeah. optimistic. I'm optimistic, but I've seen niggas and I know history. And it's... History repeats itself most of the time. So... Yes. And I'm not going to set myself up for disappointment later because I've done that a hundred times. Every time that I've had an emotional uh, peak of motivation, I've also had an uh, up down of, damn, this shit's not going nowhere. Like, you or, mean like when you were rooting for Drake? No, <laughs> talking about throughout my talking then... <laughs> about throughout my life when oh, I've dude. been motivated to do things like that, and uh, it's I can tell everybody's not on that all the time. No, nah, I understand where you're coming from too, AJ. Because yeah. like uh, when I was when I was in my twenties, I used to say, "Man, I want to have a lot of kids." And people would be like, "Dang, <laughs> like as a man, why you want to have so many kids?" Type shit. And I was like, I felt like the only way I could better my community is to raise five strong black right, children yeah, something, who yeah. were like able to do things that I've always wanted to be exactly. able to do and set them up in a position exactly. that's better. You know what I'm saying? So it really does. It sounds crazy. Not crazy, but it just sounds very cliche, but it really does depend on each individual to kind of do their thing. Because right, for us yeah. to all get on a consensus or for niggas to be on code, it's going to be really far-fetched of an idea to just throw out in the media or and, throw out in music yeah. or throw out there and then it just be accepted. And there's moments, to, and there's moments yeah. in time when we all do. Yeah, And yeah. it might last for a certain amount of time. 
And, and, all and, I, and is, I'll be there. And, I, and I'll be there. But nigga, I've been on that for the last 10 years still. Like, right. yeah. I didn't need this Drake and Kendra shit to revitalize me. I've been on that for the last and I didn't my whole either. life. Been, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Middle school. That's what I'm saying. So it's not like... It's not like I don't need to... I don't have an overexcitement for a bandwagon that I've already been on. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, no, I don't have an overexcitement because I've always been on it, whether it's been active or non-active. It's the same thing. Yeah. Well, the energy that you were putting towards Drake, why did you just put it towards this and just root for it? I was on both sides. I had a bias yeah. because I had a favorite in whose music I listened to more. As much as I respect Kendrick Lamar, I don't listen to him nearly as much as I listen to Drake, even though I can lyrically rap Front to back, Kendrick Lamar albums. No, yeah. I'm still listening to yeah. more Drake. So in the battle, nigga, I'm going for the person that I listen to more. Yeah. But I, the nigga lost. It's like, it's just, <laughs> right. it's just what, like, it I was still open for it, but it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to obviously lean more side. Right. And yeah. while the series is going, nigga, I'm going to argue my side. I give you yeah. the end of the series, I mean, nigga, like, you don't, you have no plans of denouncing your Drake standship. As a Drake yeah. stand, I was always on Kendrick yeah. Lamar's side. I, I was just being neutral, I though. Yes, it was a great battle. It was a great battle. I but picked a side. Yeah, oh, I, I knew. picked a side. I knew. Even though I knew it was up, it could it could go either way. Trucker yeah. news. It was just whatever. Yeah, you so, were rooting for your favorite team, of course. That's it. I mean, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but it was about what your team represented. So in closing, to you, that's what it was about. No, to everybody, that's it wasn't. What it, was it wasn't about that to everybody because, it wasn't like about I said, to them. all those like, niggas, shit, shit, they don't even want us to talk because all them niggas, because <laughs> all them niggas that are like I said had an issue with the culture and all that other shit. The mm -hmm. next time Drake pops out and starts saying nigga, they gonna yeah, be singing it too. Yeah, so but how do you know them specifically are going to be singing it? Because it was most people, Shane. It was yeah. most people. <laughs> I'm most why. people. I wasn't. That's why. <laughs> so I and I, and I will I will happily I can't wait to sit here and not watch you like or sing another Drake song for the rest of your life. No, I, I like a, a handful of Drake songs. Okay, so yeah, yeah. but I'm telling you, I, I, but I like a couple of Elvis. I, I like a couple of Elvis songs too. Okay, and there's people that had an issue with the whole culture thing that are still going to be on the Drake bandwagon post this battle. Yeah. So in closing, um, I think before you close, that, just so I can understand, yeah. um, you do you think that we're in a moment where the tide is changing and yeah, and it's going to go all culture. across Cul all culture, yeah, yeah. and yeah, it's yeah. going to go back to a more balanced approach within back. the media and within music. Yeah, wait, maybe not even back, but but it's going to sort of like course correct. You know, like, I think it's like a, a the beginning of a course correction. Okay, you know, all right, just wanted um, to get that. But sorry, you can close now. I apologize. Yeah. So in closing, I think like what she she was saying is. For the most part, on point. Um, but I think that with how the internet is looking now and how like black intellectual intellectualism is, is becoming a little more popular, um, I think that's a good step in the right direction for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. What's in the docket? No. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I feel like I scolded out my children. <laughs> Uh, you, lost, you, lost, you lost yourself in there. Mm -hmm. but, well, I'm with you, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, so, wait, wait. To be clear, where did I lose myself? You lost yourself in a couple of times because we're all, it's like you're arguing. I think, you, I think you're I think you trying to push it. You were trying to push something on me that was deeper than what I was even putting putting out there. You, you were oh. conceding to the point very early on in the, like in the discussion. I'm yeah, like, and it was like, like, like it's like, like we're still beating it down and it's like cuz I do agree because I I agree with Shane. Oh, like, well, oh I was fighting like, against the 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 uh, pessimism. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I was fighting so and trying like, to put some light in the darkness initially. So huh? I I agree with you yeah, yeah, initial, yeah. like you were super biased of like like for, sure. like for Drake for we, sure. Both From sides were. Oh no no, yeah, yeah but, both yeah. sides were. But, so yeah, yeah. I, but I think but that what's what I Oh, think, oh, you're like, talking about the Drake. I, I thought you were talking about the overall conversation about black I'm talking about that whole thing. You're talking about Drake too. Yeah, I mean like overall. You're talking about the whole thing. Yeah, I mean like overall. It still goes to both sides. Yeah, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Drake to your point. Can't you going long ago. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, yeah, I just meant the the cultural thing. I was just like, yeah, let's let's stay on the positive. <laughs> Anything positive happening in the news? <laughs> These niggas are gonna make it, man. Oh boy, I got, I got faith oh, in them. Boy. Yeah, I have hope for us though. Donald <laughs> Trump found guilty on all thirty-six counts of false accusations. This is about to boost his black vote. <laughs> You think you give him like street cred or something? Republican or, or, or liberal too? Yep. He can still be president, black but niggas people. can't vote. Black people. If they felons. Yeah. But black people are split. So well, he, well, he, lives yeah. in, he lives in Florida, so technically he can run for president anyway. It don't matter. If he goes oh, yeah. He can run apparently behind the jail cell. Right. Yeah. From, uh, for, uh, for, for president. <laughs> for, uh, this does not stop. Crazy. This does not stop. It doesn't his, stop anything. It doesn't stop literally anything. But if Trump did, 
Because like this hood black culture so well, mm-hmm. let Trump do a week or thirty days in jail. His black vote is going through the roof. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be like, they gonna be like Martha Stewart. I was gonna, that's exactly what yeah. came to mind. I was like the Martha Stewart. Effect. Niggas have been behind Martha Stewart ever, ever since, since. Ever since she yeah. did that little ever bit. Ever since. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Saying if Trump goes back there, continues to talk. First of all, more black people are going over to Trump anyway. That's apparent. Like it seems. Oh, there, yeah. It was blasphemous to say you were a Trump supporter the first go around. Mm-hmm. The second go around, now people understand. Nobody cares. It's like I've seen so many people that were against it or just say, "I'm definitely voting for Trump," and it's it's not a headline anymore. Like if right. you said I'm voting for Trump when he first ran, that shit was like a headline. Niggas was like, "You voting for you Trump?" I'm following you. If yeah, you're black yeah. and almost anybody, but definitely a person of color, oh. not even black, just a person of color, mm-hmm. like back then. Oh. But now it's like. It don't seem to matter. Rappers I was gonna follow hella people for, for supporting Trump. Oh yeah, it was, like, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I fell out. I really fell out with like lifelong Ni- friends. People were losing friendships over that shit. Oh, when was, Trump oh, first yeah, ran, literally. if you said you were with Trump, <laughs> you lost friendships over that yeah, shit. No, straight yeah. up. That is not the case no more. It's a lot of black people and people of color and just people. Like fuck it. I well, well, I don't think it's it's fuck it, but I feel like half of it isn't a di- it different type of fuck it. I think it's the a significant amount of people have lost faith in the American. Justice system. system. They did that. So it's not political. support for um, Trump. It's just not supporting anything. They right. just giving up on the whole thing. And then also not wanting to support. That this is a very unexciting stuff, yeah. race, <laughs> you for know. Sure. And the only people who are the loudest, I'm sure, are the ones who are voting for Trump still. Yeah, but the ones who are quiet are the ones who are just not. Like, I don't even. I don't even know what's going on in politics anymore. You know. I mean, Joe is sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Joe, and we have a sleeper in the White House. Yeah. You know? So, like, no exciting. He's rerunning, and I didn't know it. You He's know on what his I'm fucking deathbed. Yeah. He needs to sit his ass he, down. He got a whole nother four. And he that's, and that's the thing. He don't even have four tennis. years left of life. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Tennis back and forth between the same motherfuckers. The it's just like, there's no new blood in here. Like, nope. Yeah, so that's why I'm just, I, I think it's apathy more than anything. He got hit with 36 counts. You know, normally when people get, like, charged with a lot of charges? Yeah. They really, most of them get dropped. And you really only right. get popped yeah. for like three yeah. or not four. All, not every single Nigga, 30, charge. Four, 30 Everyone. Four is, everything hit. It's like clearly the judge has it out for him. 34 yeah. everything hit. charges, is it, that's unheard of. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, one of two, it's one of two. Either the, ju- yeah, either the, the judge the bias out, is real, or homie just took no time at all to cover up anything <laughs> ever. No, no, the bias, the bias is real because yeah. there were some things, but that's the thing. It was campaign he's, money. Like campaign he's getting, money is very traceable. He's getting done like a person of color in the legal system right now in New York. Yeah, which is going to make a lot of people uh, sympathize with him. A lot oh, of black people. Yeah, yeah. You mean just that, like because he's in the system, the legal system? He's he in the legal like system, and like objectively, even lawyers on YouTube are like, okay, the judge is kind of tripping right now. Like, oh, by giving okay, maybe yeah. it's like there's something unfair going it's, on here. It's obviously like so unfair what's oh. happening. Obviously, and he's being oh. targeted because it's, of yeah, it's, oh, I, he's obviously being targeted, and niggas and Hispanics are like. We felt like that our whole life. Right. <laughs> so we riding with the because yeah, yeah. not only are you a white billionaire, but you're going through the same struggles I'm going through. Yeah, yeah I'm with it. Yeah, <laughs> black people are with him after this shit. I if mean, he goes to jail, it'll seal the deal. I mean, ultimately, he won't go through the same jail situation as anyone brown. He would. He might just do a week, but one and, well, week of course, in jail. It's gonna be like a week in jail situation, or he's just gonna actually just be at Mar-a-Lago with a break with an ankle. Oh God! Uh, don't, don't trap me yeah. in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, uh, yeah. Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, house, yeah, yeah, house arrest. Don't house like, arrest uh, me the in, in a mansion. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, like, I don't, I don't think that he's ever. So it's like I think same thing if, with Martha if Stewart. If you really feel like yeah. like your situation's the same as him as a black person, like that's kind of delusional to me. It isn't, but it it the whole it's just the base level of getting jerked in the course. Sure, which sure, is all that matters because sure. Martha like Stewart did there, yeah. she was in like a low security prison yeah. for that little for that one year she spent she was having a good yeah. old time yeah it wasn't there. no lockdown thing yeah. I think the doors were open type she was shit. still smiling <laughs> yeah like they had gardens you know she had a garden <laughs> which is also funny too because like Orange is the New Black yeah that was minimum security yeah, so yeah, like yeah, bitches yeah, yeah. was wanting to go to jail but it's yeah, like yeah. they get a lot of benefits in this oh, church man. like yeah. Like they, eating cooking classes. Yeah, and shit. Like, you better go to go to the feds. Don't go to yeah. jail. Go to prison. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> jail is nigga. We open and close this door. Nigga. Ain't, yeah, no, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no real yard time. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah, yeah man. Minimum security is hard to get. Yeah, dog. that's crazy. You have a cell phone in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. they were doing they do. a lot. They were working with tools. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's that's, a, that's power a, tools. But that's that's what Mar- Martha Stewart was on, and the black people still supported her in droves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. It does, I mean, for some reason it does make... I guess that's that does kind of tie he into the last... Oh, wait, wait. You mean culture. support in droves? What do you mean? 
Like they the culture, grew. the culture was behind. The it. whole culture right. was, was behind. not the okay. whole. Of course, not the whole, but yeah, the co- the culture. Yeah, we yeah, see yeah, hood culture. Like, yeah, the yeah, one that the one that's right? the one that's being pushed. Oh, uh, the, the hood culture. The hood yeah. culture. Well, yeah. the IQ levels are lower sure. there, so you can't really expect sensibility from. Damn, me. son. Well, <laughs> 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 no, but it's not that though. It's <laughs> but that's what you're saying ah. is being pushed. Niggas with high <laughs> IQs are pushing low IQ on the culture. But niggas, the people that are pushing the culture, which is low IQ ghetto culture. They're at high intellect, consciously pushing that. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. The black people don't control the fucking media or you're the, saying, you're, yeah, you're the what like really a, gets the white man. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. and the there's even, well, well, anymore. There's we got to preface and there's, anymore. And even, there, there was a point where we controlled it, but then like there was, and we sold yeah, it yeah, away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then there's the just like the slaves, and then there's the <laughs> black people. Um, like there was that whole video that Candace Owens did, where it's a black person that put all the money behind. Um, Sexy um, red and shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's high IQ people. Yeah, yeah. Like well, because then that's the other thing too. Like we, Pushing you know, the, the bucket, the what, what you call it, crabs in the bucket. So like uh, some of us mm. are not, you know, well, sell themselves out. You know, there's a lot of hoes sure. in the culture. For sure. <laughs> yeah, male, male, and you know, female. You know, but I know wait, what you, wait, 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 I know wait, what you wait, should talk about Donald Trump, right? Yeah, I know okay. what you should do though. So, yeah. I know what you should because you on this black power shit. Oh really? Since the IQ and the um, <laughs> hood is so bad, you need to volunteer and do and tutor some kids. Okay. In the hood. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, that'll be All good because right. that'll be a direct. Impact. A direct thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a direct impact, and anybody yeah. could do I that. I think all all of y'all should get into some type of mentor program for Probably. black oh, men. Oh, shit, son. I want to start oh, one. Oh, shit, son. Are you saying all of us got to do it? The black yeah. men, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. I've always team. wanted to. I've always talked about that. I did, a, that. I did a study yeah. about that. Like, my old job, like, we used to call, like, middle-aged black men, age, like, 35, 30 to, like, 45, mm-hmm. why don't you mentor? Mm. Wait, it was a program called Why Don't You Mentor? No, 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 no. It was a program for Duke, but that was a oh, study. Oh, it was, a, it was a survey study, but that's yeah. what it was like a gotcha. survey of questions. Like, but it was targeted to a very specific group of people. Mm-hmm. Um, just like, like I said, black men age. I think it was like 32 to 45. Which is like um, kind of that age where you probably have a career. You got some sort of Exactly, like, going, exactly. Where, so, you, where, you, where you can be But an we were trying to get somebody. them um, to mentor. Duke does have, I don't know if they still do it, um, but they did have like some mentor program specific, like just specifically for black youth, black males. Mm-hmm. Um, cause it's really not shit, especially, you know, in Durham, like, nigga, yeah, for sure. you know, like, I, was yeah, in the, yeah. I was in the big brother, big sister program. Yeah. My mom mm-hmm. used to mentor. Was lit. Um, mm-hmm. I used to mentor when I was, uh, when I was in like in my early twenties, um, like through my job or whatever. But yeah, I think all y'all I did it. I that. did it at a church a couple of years ago in Raleigh. And then, um, they stopped, I stopped going to this church cause the fucking pastor had this weird, like this shit hit the news. You know, he had some weird shit going on. I was like, oh, no. fuck. I can't be associated you know, it's just this. like, yeah. can't be associated God damn, man. Uh-oh. Yeah. The one place yeah. I thought I was supposed to, you know, this supposed it's to be the one, s- yeah, the one, uh, the, <laughs> the next place that you actually saw. <laughs> yeah. That shit go down. Hey, like, God damn, this nigga's in the news for weird shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You're fuck. like, why'd I pick this church? Yeah, yeah. no, that's, I hate that shit. Yeah. But, but also, uh, I think um, what also needs to be said too is that there's, because I know like Drake said this in Family Matters where he was mm-hmm. saying like, oh, you act like uh, you're, you're freeing the slaves and, and all that stuff and all that shit yeah. and all that stuff, right? Um, one thing to keep in mind is that there's more than one way to fight for the culture. You can fight for the culture in the streets, and you can fight for the culture through the arts. Right. Um, you know, you, t- you look back at the, the civil rights movement, you had people in the streets, like Malcolm X, um, you know, uh, Martin Luther King, you know, and so many others fighting in the streets. Yep. And then... But then you also, at the same time, you had... The art uh, stuff with all the... James Brown's uh, yeah. I'm Black and I'm Proud. You had uh, Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, you know? So I think, you know, just necessarily being in the streets or being a politician or, you know, it wasn't, you know, all that stuff, that's one way to do it. But another way to do it is by, you can fight for the culture. It's like a two, uh, a, uh, a left hook and a right hook. You know, because you you have to have some of us who are fighting for the culture on the streets. Oh, there's you have to have some of us the, who are yeah. fighting for the culture through the arts. You know, so Kendrick Lamar, he he's not Malcolm X. And he's, in he's the James and Brown. in the and in the office, and in the political. Yeah, yeah, but, but too, multiple yeah. ways. There's there yeah. are, there's no one way to fight for the culture. So right. I just wanted to put that out there. So even if I fight for the culture through the arts, I'm still doing my part. Right. Okay. I mean, like, I feel like we know, all are. Kendrick did say he is not your savior. Exactly. So, I mean, nobody's your savior except yourself. Yeah. Yes. I, the life you save will be your own. Yeah. And I, I think there is a lot of validity also to the fact that like, 
you do have to separate the artist from the artist from the art. At yeah, the same a lot time. of the so times. it's it's like mm -hmm. we came to find yeah, out a lot, a lot of, of our good people are shitty. Yeah, no, well, remember we were talking about like Martin, we Martin Luther King. Out, like yeah. we were saying, like he wasn't a perfect guy. He was, you know, cheating all of and, and all yeah. that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, Malcolm X too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't know how much I believe the Martin Luther King stuff because it's also well documented that CIA was sending him death threats to tell him to kill himself and. Oh really. Yeah, okay. Are you talking oh, about no, the whole? No, no, like, no, we're talking about him cheating on the road. With, right, right. But I'm saying oh, okay, I, okay. it's because it's so documented that they were threatening him. But the CIA was threatening him. Yeah, I. Would you feel like they planted that information? I would be well, I, no, I feel like Coretta there. said that too, though. His wife. Did she? Did, yeah, like oh, she yeah, knew yeah, that. She did yeah. mention that there. Okay. But, because but like she, because she, she pretty much spoke and said, "I'm not going to let something minor like that that just ooh that just affects my marriage." Right. Uh, and like I'm not gonna go at him to bring down his larger mission that he's on right now. Gotcha. So yeah, even right. even she knew for sure. Right. Well, yeah, they were trying yeah. to kill him by saying it was white women. That was supposed oh to, that yeah was, that was supposed oh, to be there. Okay. They, they said that same thing with Kendrick too. They say yeah. they say Kendrick's fucking white white no, women. No no no, no 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 no. Kendrick, your choice in women. fucking white women. Yeah. That was the other thing too. Which is why it's funny because it's like Drake was just using all the stuff that Kendrick already said on on Mr. Morrell. As an as a counter argument, but it's like he already admitted like he fucked this white bitch on this tour. Yeah, I fucked that that white bitch on that tour. I may have a problem. <laughs> it's so funny how like when something like that comes up and like that is I just don't care about that. But, but like some people, that shit really bothers them. Like finding yeah. out Kendrick Lamar is fucking white women. They're like, oh my god, you they, know, like, they have like oh, a Dr. Oh, Umar that really, away by that? Yeah, there's That's definitely funny. people who feel away about that. Oh, I've, I've, I've talked to I've talked to black women who are like, I can't fuck with you if you've ever been with a white girl before. Uh, like yeah. there's hell yeah that is no 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 I believe that. relevant as hell but it's always funny when they like bring that up like mm. even with Kendrick I remember like I saw that going you know they're like I got a homegirl like that like she do not play yeah like, that's like one of the first questions she asked you fuck white bitches I can yeah. I will never fuck yeah you. she do not play yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. that's funny but it's it, it, it's I used always, to be like that that was just like a weird... <laughs> what happened I went on a date with a white boy he was cute I liked him oh. <laughs> I saw History. the other side. That was it. But it wasn't bad. <laughs> but then they started getting, he was started doing too much. And I was like, yeah, you got way too in, way too quick. I'm out of here. <laughs> you get you, out of here. You know what? You out of here. He just like start catching way feelings committed. way too quick. Yeah. I'm like, oh, nigga, it's been right. like a month and a half, two months. Oh. Like, you're in love already, nigga? Get the oh, fuck out of okay. here. You're wilding. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I've seen you three times. Relax. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Relax. But Donald Trump, man, yeah, I don't know what he going to do. Um, I think it is going to be funny. Mm. Like you think like he'll still like I think like, he's definitely he goes, winning. Like he'll sure. still like yeah 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 yeah. That's the other thing too. Like I, I, I think no, that he's yeah. gonna win. Um, I can't just because see. there's no energy on the left. Yeah, yeah there's, there's nothing, just no energy on the left. He's the only person running. There's you know, I don't see I don't see him losing. Yeah, yeah. no, you're right. Yeah. I don't. I the, genuinely, I genuinely yeah, do I, not. I don't. I don't. But yeah, but, but right. it's almost yeah. like by default, you know, because he doesn't have like a bro. People hate Biden so much that they would take Trump if he doesn't win. I'll genuinely be like, I'm shocked. They kind of robbed you, uh, Trump. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll feel like whatever narrative he throws out about collusion and the, Russia. They, you right. Russia. You probably right, bro. It was right, the bro. It. It was yeah. our, <laughs> I probably believe you because well, I don't see how Joe wins. But, unless yeah, they, no, no, unless they pull one of those Hillary things true, where, yeah, where true, like, true. the popular, she clearly lost. But right. all of a sudden, the super delegates all just... The super, what do they call? Is it super delegates? No, no, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. It's super something. The but representatives? Super yeah, ballot? no, super ballot. The super, super ballot, ballot came okay. in and just blew him out of the water. Yeah, even though the popular us, the people, okay. definitely did not choose her. like a George Bush Jr. situation or whatever. Yeah, where yeah. we we know how yeah. to get you there. So yeah, okay, but I I, I'm, I only thought that um, he lost a good chunk of people behind the January sixth thing though. So he I did. Like he did. Like, that's gonna. But be I like a big but I think loss. this is gonna bring him back. You think like this? They're like, oh, he now he a criminal too. Okay, we not. <laughs> it's not just us now, <laughs> nigga. Okay. I'm, I'm not just talking about that. Like revenge, it. Daddy nigga. Went to jail too. <laughs> if you're okay. president that you love, you wear a MAGA hat, all yeah. this shit does jail time. Yeah, that just resonates him being your king even more. Yeah, he's cold. You know what I mean? You know? Like, like, yeah, rappers, like, like go to jail shit. sometimes. Yeah, yeah they, when they go to jail, sometimes they get more popular. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bro, he got convicted. Within 24 hours, his supporters had donated $54 million in 24 hours. No, yeah. for sure. How the fuck do you stop this nigga? You yeah. can't. How do yeah. you stop that? Yeah, I see him winning. You know because what I'm saying? How but he's been doing this for years. Like, what? even before he was he's the really president. Been, he's really been doing... He's really been milking the public. It's really crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah. So he... he was collecting campaign funds when he wasn't campaigning. No, we're no, just I'm just saying, saying like his impact with giving people to do shit Trump for him, for right. like just, no, just being Trump. That's yeah. what I'm saying. No, I'm saying like people were still 
Yeah, basically, his the, yeah. That, the yeah. world, not the world has, yeah, what? We've been, that shit we've been paying took Trump, all. Yeah, yeah, we've been paying Trump our whole life. Yeah. Our whole life. The world has. Yeah, they love that. Shit. Yeah, went to Trump. Uh, what do you call his, his uh, casinos? Yeah, the all hotels. Us, like every single eating. American has paid Trump over. It's, yeah, at least one time, if not multiple times, over the last. 30 to 40 to 50 years. Yeah. And he's that's a, insane. He's yeah. an American institution. Okay? He, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. And it's crazy during that interview, like he came out and he was just like, he said everything that he would do if he was president. He said, if I was president, I would be a Republican president because Republicans are stupid. They believe anything. He did yeah. say that. He definitely did say that on camera. On camera. <laughs> yeah. Recorded. Yeah. And did it. Not, even, did a, not it. even a hot mic. Not a hot mic. A regular interview. Regular. It yeah. was The shit yeah. was in black yeah. and white. That's how you know it was real. Yeah, niggas had to cut that footage and re-put it back together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, bro. What? They're not stopping him. And man, he was in Home Alone too. Yeah, he was in Did Little. You? He was in Little Rascals. Yeah, he was in that movie. The yeah. very yeah. way he was in. Yeah. He was in Little Rascals. Well, at he, was, the end. he was. The, he was the rich kid's dad. dad yes. Yeah, but he. Was, but, yeah, but but but, oh, but wow, it was. He was. Yeah. 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 but it was a celebrity thing at the end of the game. He had come to see him at the race car race. Right. Yep. And that was a big wow. reveal. He yeah. literally had like two lines. He was like, "You'll be hearing from my lawyer." My daddy. It's literally just him sitting in the bleachers, eating some popcorn. He got like two scenes. Yeah. And that's it, bro. He was, he was in. Bray, he was he, in hella shit. He's I, I feel like he was in a few Mary Kay and Ashley movies, if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah. there's, um, there's, there's no way he wouldn't be. Did you guys know who he was back then? I no, didn't know, I had no, no idea. No, like that scene in Home Alone Two where he that, that guy he stops him in the middle of the hallway and asks him a question. Or I had something. no he, idea who he, he was. He bumps into him. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. Or he was running or something. I never looked at that. I never yeah. looked twice at that scene because it's like I I didn't know who that was. I didn't yeah. know who he was, I then, but yeah. I th I'm, I'm sure our parents did though. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know yeah, who yeah, Trump yeah. was yeah. until that show, huh? the the You the, Fired show, yeah. The uh, Apprentice. Oh, that, that's, okay. the, that's when I knew who Trump yeah. was. I feel like for us, that's yeah. that's yeah. when it really locked yeah, because we was like middle yeah. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really locked. Yeah. The yeah. Apprentice Trump locked it WWE in for us. WWE back in the day, or, or he would show up to WWF. F. Like, sorry, yeah, so he's new. Yeah, WWF. And he probably showed up to WWE, but he's even doing that now with UFC. He goes to UFC games. Y'all see sexy red? Y'all see sexy red at the WWE game? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I did see that. Um, she was sexy yeah. red at WWE. She got I mean, the ring? WWE no. is really getting on some boxing shit right Love now. That. It's kind of yeah. crazy. Yeah, she was up there. You know, it's that, crazy. that popularity is actually oh, starting to rise, I noticed. People attending it or, or, or wrestling? She was, or she yeah. was involved. Like she was on the. Yeah, she yeah. Was she was involved. involved. Like she was, she oh, she was? She was involved. What was she doing? Yeah. I can't remember. I think she was. I don't know. She probably was just. Or she might have walked somebody out. Maybe. She might have walked somebody out because yeah, these, these yeah, UFC yeah. people are I think like a little clip. Yeah, what oh. was it? Okay, yeah, so she was in. Yeah. Shawn Michaels love her. Makes announcements. I would like. But you know them type of white men oh, love WWE, black women. Oh, yeah. Like, like to introduce that type of they like, they like black dropping, bodies. Yeah. Show stopping, chain wearing, baby daddy freeing, the hood's hottest princess, sexy red. Hip hop. Hip hop. Did you hear that intro? I did. Hmm? Did, did you, you hear that intro? Did she say daddy, baby daddy? She said freeing? baby daddy, baby baby daddy. Go back. Play the intro again. <laughs> He played it I can't, I like can't. like Harriet Tubman, like she freezed yeah. baby daddy oh, or something. Like, I, I would like to introduce the hit dropping, show stopping, chain wearing, <laughs> baby daddy freeing, the hood's hottest princess, sexy red. Who wrote it was. That? It was. <laughs> Who wrote this that? is a billion dollar company. Who yeah. wrote yes. that? Yeah. With billions of customers. I would, yeah, she I probably like, wrote that intro. Sure. Locking in that hood shit again. Yeah. Hey, they put the <laughs> worst of us to the... This <laughs> shit ain't gonna change, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> how, 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 how do you know it's not gonna change? Okay. Shame. Unless this you don't want it. Right, yeah, yeah, I will say... No, no, no. Shame. No, no, no. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, it, if, it, what, if it used to not be that, it cannot be that again. So that's why I'm like, what is with this whole idea of like... The sexy red is influencing so many of these young you're not gonna want them to stop. But wait, you're gonna Shane, stream. Wait, this. I, don't, yeah. I don't even like this shit. What? Shane. I don't even. We, I no, was, we're in the shit already. We got ourselves here. Now we're climbing ourselves out. Well, well, this is kind of isn't this kind of new though? Like what? overall, like uh, this is like, very like new. Billion dollar corporations having this kind of control on what we do. Like when I say new, I mean no, like no, no, no. no what beginning. I mean, what I mean by that is like with the more freedoms we get, the more someone somewhere else does something to to hinder us right so if we're going to be wwe from what you're trying to get mm -hmm. out of the culture yeah. w companies like this is going to always put it on the other side of what you want yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and, and they're going to put this like i said to the biggest stage possible right this and that's going to make stage. it really hard for this shit to change i know isn't that sad my friend my yes yeah, absolutely <laughs> well be, well cry <laughs> i'm not shed no tears
You never have. No. <laughs> <laughs> you but didn't see. You didn't see talk me. Talk to humans. I mean, you didn't see me. You didn't see me off shrooms, nigga. <laughs> Oh shit! I, I, no, no, no. I Lauren, feel that Lauren way. Like, yeah, I peeped that. I peeped that. I peeped that. I'm not shedding tears. Yeah. I feel like they made their choice. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Right. People make their own choice. Niggas are gonna make their choice. They make yeah. their choice. Yeah. That's the only reason why. Yeah. And um, and honestly, I just feel like most people are gonna make their choice depending on what pays them the most, yeah. or like where their money incentive is at too. You know what I'm saying? Like, For sure. Like, yeah. Even people with high morals. Some people actually don't have a dollar amount, mm -hmm. but the people and but there are a lot of people who say they. They don't have a dollar amount. They end up finding out they do have a dollar amount. They haven't amount. heard it yet. They haven't heard yeah. it yet mm -hmm. type shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so mm -hmm. I think a lot of things changes too when a certain dollar amount gets put in front of people. The one, like a lot of those people who were like, I'm on this for real. They're like, what about 400 million? Right, like right now. They're yeah. like, whoa. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And real money, you know what I mean? Where it's actually somebody, yeah, yeah, like, you know. It'll be over within 15 minutes, which yeah. is why. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Niggas start switching up a little bit. Yeah. Wait, so, okay, so you pointed that, you paused it and pointed out that ratchet culture is popular. W what's new? Nothing. I'm All just right, saying, I'm just saying, this, 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 <laughs> this, this is what you're fighting against. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fight with me, nigga. Nigga, are we making a movie? <laughs> Yes. Are we, are, yeah. are, we, me. are we producing three black or all black original cast of uh, bodies of work yep, every single yep, week yep, on YouTube? Yep, yep. Yes. Nigga, yes. we're doing more than a lot of people. We're representing. Yeah. Ain't a, there's not a person of color. We got some light skins in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a, this is a black ass that was organization. Unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. this is a black ass organization around this bitch. We're, yes. we're doing it. So let's we, fight for this. We, okay. we fight for it every day. So maybe, yeah. maybe by, by showing these niggas what to do. You know what I yeah. think we need to do? I think we need to bring. Bring an actual like a Drake stand in, like somebody who actually. Because I'm not really like that. Oh, yeah. No, no okay. nigga. Who has yeah, nigga, you me yeah, no, yeah. no, nigga. And just yeah. like let you at him, let you like yeah. sick you on him. <laughs> hey, get <laughs> academics on the phone. <laughs> Guess you are. Yeah, yeah. Get academics on the phone now. <laughs> yeah, that's who you need to go talk to. No, no, no. With. What's his name from um uh, the, the white dude and the black dude? Because uh, he was a big a uh, big Drake stand too. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Damn, right, 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 is it a podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was like oh. screaming to the top of his lungs. What's his name? Not Brain Idiot, Charles. No, Andrew no, no. no. Uh, um, they, they used to be on Joe Button. Rory, Rory, Rory and Maul, Rory and Maul, 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 yeah, get Maul on the phone. That's who the fuck you need <laughs> yes. to talk. Yeah, 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 nigga. We need to, we need to. Why swap were you, you not there for the culture? Huh? Yeah, we yeah. need to swap you out, Rory. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. apparently, I didn't get to listen to it. But apparently, just last week, he went on like another epic rant because he was he was defending all the um reference tracks that have been dropping about Drake, and it's like. I wouldn't dare to do that Jeez. shit. It's oh, like, yeah. I'm He's looking trying at to lift all that weight <laughs> like, by himself. Like, nigga, nigga let it party go, mode nigga. is his entire <laughs> fucking <laughs> song, even the ad libs. Yeah, it's like, like nigga, there's please nothing let you can do. That's crazy. Why are you fighting so hard for that shit? This is getting bad. Just please yeah. stop, nigga. Because it, it's Team Cornball. Like, what yeah. Are you and that's why it's like, nigga, just look at it like how Thriller was made with 45 people, nigga. It's just a good song at the end of the day. That's as deep as it goes. You know what I'm saying? Wait, thriller? You see? Or like just like how some of Michael Jackson's records were everything about, from you know, Motown like, was forty different writers. But at or whatever the same time, like he's not a rapper. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but same thing. Yeah. Enter entertainer. All right, play. Yeah, what is it? Is she? Yeah, she about to perform. Let's see. Chain wearing, <laughs> baby daddy freeing. This is a different. Uh, hottest princess, <laughs> sexy red. Go ahead and put it in her. Are they booing her? It was a dude in the back doing really? like this. Whoa, oh, really? Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They feel like they enjoying it, man. We yeah. been waiting and anticipating. Exploitation of the black women. Why is she putting that fucking ice cream on her face? That's yeah, that face tattoo is wild. Let me introduce you. And it's not even real. It's not sexy. real? No. No, I don't think so. Sexy she has face has tattoos. That's not a real one, though. But what about her Israel? She's, she's real. She don't wear ass. She don't wear her body down. Pause. Hold on. It's too much. We got talking in the video going right now. Yeah. Uh, but just hit. Yeah, I think oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got what we anyway. need. Yeah, she does. She gets on stage she and does her thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Exploitation of the black, black women. Yes. So this I'm NXT, here for it. This NXT must be a subdivision of WWE. W, wait, uh, what? NXT? It's, 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 it's NXT, right? NXT. Yeah, because it's Is that the same thing? It says WWE up in the top oh, right corner, but that NXT, I guess this is either a show 
It's like a sub genre. Yeah. 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 But did you see the zoom out? The venue is really small. It's not a big venue. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. They're not in a stadium at all either. That's what I thought was so weird. So this, about this it. might be their level one before they get up to the big leagues of WWE. Mm. Yeah, it's like oh, the next, oh, that's, well, next that's good thing news. before yeah, they. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So they got more than one level now. Okay. That's probably what that is. Because that's how I was like, what is that NXT? Because it was even. Yeah, like, I thought oh, that was, that shit was confusing me. But they definitely have a USA decal in the corner, though. Yeah, because that's where it premiered. I heard probably. wrestling is going to Netflix now. Like it's it been is. sold from because it's, like it's on Peacock. It's on Peacock. Oh, it's right on now. Peacock. Yeah, no, but it's going they, to Netflix too. It's going to Netflix. Their con the Peacock contract is ending. Oh, so and then it's going it. over. Yeah, because okay. they started with their own app when everybody fucking made a video app. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a their own streaming app, and then they signed with NBC, I think, because that was before it was became Peacock. Right. Then they had a the Peacock deal where it was like you can watch live wrestling matches. And they had, like, the wrestling catalog. They have so many fucking documentaries. And they just have, like, old matches. Like, the, all the old WrestleManias. So, so WrestleManias, all that stuff. Yeah. Are WrestleMania still... Is that still, like, a pay-per-view situation? Hell, ye, not as much. It? Now when you have... Now that now when you have the streaming services... Right. I don't even think it's an upgrade. It might be, a, it might be one level upgrade of your Peacock package or maybe your Netflix package. Yeah. But I think it's... You might get it on the first pay level. Oh. To where you get all wrestling content, and that includes those pay per view uh, matches like WrestleMania oh, nice. and uh, the Elimination Chambers and shit like that. So, right. yeah, it's actually better now because back in the day, like you really had to call, and make the money, you know, make the call now. But now you can just. You I just watched my first like couple WrestleManias these last couple of years because they've been available on streaming. Oh, right, because they were paywalling them before. Yeah, they had hundred dollars to get in. You know what I'm saying? Just to like pay for view it. They were getting money, bro. Pay per view was expensive. Yeah, yeah it was, true. bro. I know, I know in boxing and matches. Even, yeah, I don't remember. Boxing matches yeah, be like hundred bucks, don't they? Yeah, they like yeah. So even yeah. those are hundred bucks. Yeah, because I don't remember how expensive they were because I was like a kid when pay per view was like. I remember cool. looking at the screen. Yeah, that said, yeah, yeah. like fifty dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah call that. this number. It's like gotcha. it, when like, you click it, on it, you can't see it. Then when it upgraded, you could do it on a you could do it on a TV. My mom was fucking pissed. Yeah, yeah. But before you had to call your Order cable put a passcode right on that shit, mm -hmm. and they had to open that channel up for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they definitely would. No, oh wait a minute, I think in '99 there was this one time when me and my, me and Sharam uh, ordered a uh, naughty movie on pay per view, yep. uh, and we got on the frightened. Bell. Yes, yep. <laughs> like, oh, a naughty shit, movie. movie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what even happened, but I, I remember being frightened about that shit. Hey, have you guys noticed that the Rock has the the narrative has sort of been changing on the Rock overall? In, uh, in, a, in a negative way. Like, I've been noticing, like, a lot of people are talking about it because they're saying, like, all he does is just, ad it's like he's a walking ad. Because every time you see him, he's always advertising something. Like, he's always mm. advertising his In brand. his life in general. Yeah. Like, people are calling him not a real person because every time you see, and, oh, and yeah. they called him out. Oh, you saw it, that, Lauren? Well, I, I know the narrative you're talking about because yeah. the Joe Rogan episode. They, the Joe they, Rogan oh, that's yeah, too. Yeah, that's, that started that's the it. One. And then, yeah. like, ever since that, they've been calling him out about, like, him not having his own views, it seems. Yeah. Like, right. he's just kind of riding with whatever the advert is. Yeah. With any person. opinions yeah. or nothing. And then, like, on his Instagrams, the, people were pulling his old uh, Instagrams from, like, a, lot, a long time ago. Old pictures like, of some Like, shit. 2017, like, videos of him. I'm eating... Uh, cookout for the first no no not cookout I'm eating in and out for the first time you know mm. Mm, this is delicious you know oh, let me have like it with my my brand of <laughs> alcohol you know and, yeah. the, and then like three years later or something like that he made another video saying like hey I'm eating in and out in and out for the first time and everybody was like wait a minute three years ago you ate it for the first time yeah yeah so people are just saying like he's even like forgetting that he's done the same ad it was probably he was probably getting it was probably an, an um an endorsement from right, right, right. Or some shit. And that's the thing too. It's like with him, bro, he's, there's just those certain people, bro. They are, they can't even help it. That's what they are. They are walking brand billboards. I don't expect They're nothing brand. less from yeah. The Rock. He's yeah. a very yeah. managed he, person. Yeah. Kevin Hart. For sure. Kevin Hart. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Ryan Seacrest. It's like we're only seeing these people pushing something. Yeah. Nick Cannon to a certain extent, even though we get a lot of realness from Nick Cannon, oh, really? but yeah. you know, but very when, managed. When, when you really yeah. look at his career, you're like, this is a very managed, really well put together career, but it's like we get a lot of like realness from him because he'll do podcasts or wilding out and yeah. Got a shit ton of baby mamas, you know. He's doing things that right. we're like, oh, we yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. we see more. But he's got a pretty polished ass life too. Yeah, the Steve Harveys, you know. It's oh, just yeah. Yeah, we yeah. see them when we see them, and it's 
Yeah. Time to make money for something. Yeah. So, so I, I don't know if this is a generational thing. I don't know if this is Gen Z realizing that. Because, you know, us millennials, we were kind of like okay with like inauthenticity and all that stuff. It seems yeah. like Gen Z, for the most part, <laughs> it seems like they're, you know, having this war. All of our heroes are fucking take, getting taken down. They're taking them down, yeah. yeah. And I feel like we accepted it even more from The Rock just because he come from performances anyway. Yeah, wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, yeah, uh, but you so know. He's, he's reg- like, yeah. so he's like, him, he's yeah, earned he, it. He's yeah. been acting the whole time that I've known him. Right. He's yeah. been wrestling, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he yeah. was a totally different persona when he began wrestling in general. You Even know? he yeah. just yeah. recently went back to wrestling yeah. for the last yeah. WrestleMania. He was a dickhead the whole time. Yeah, he was right. a bad guy. He was yeah. a heel. That's what well, yeah, he was a heel. That was his whole well, yeah, the heel thing. Was his, yeah, the heel was what popped him off. It okay, was. Yeah, it yeah, was. was. Yeah, it was. Yep. And then, wait, so was it, because I know like shortly after he went into the acting thing, but it's like, did he ever become like a good guy in wrestling, or was he, he always like a heel as the, when he, he began was as this polished good yeah, guy? Yeah, he, he started there, okay. but he didn't become popular at all doing that. Right. Oh, Him so he got popular becoming the, the heel, the bad guy, okay, yep. the bad guy, yeah. the antihero. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He was wearing. He had blue jeans on in the ring and shit. <laughs> and honestly, yeah. in my mind, that's like. He was the good guy to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know, like, no. It, 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 did, it, literally, yeah. it literally didn't feel like he was a bad guy, but I yeah. guess if you look at how his character interacted, sure. he was an asshole, but like, that was the attitude. He was just smug. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. was kind of mean to they each other. All, like, they were all, yeah. they were almost all bad guys, too. Nah, for like, sure. Yeah, I didn't really Towards see each him. other. The 90s. Yeah, I, yeah the <laughs> 90s, that attitude era, they were all fucking, yeah, also, they uh, hated each Shana, other, bro. I think, maybe, I think really a lot of it is, we have to remember the target audience of of wrestling. It's it's like middle rural, of America. It's middle rural, American yeah, white people. Yeah. So actually, just the fact that he was black, brown, whatever Polynesian, yeah, whatever, yeah, what like, oh, like, like, like was, father or something like that. Yeah, I, I think like there was a lot of black. narrative writing where black people were just actually just bad guys. It's kind uh, of the way bro, that like uh, being uh, Russian makes you automatically a bad guy in a movie and shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. For a while. <laughs> Yo, dead or, or like, British, British, sometimes. or being British. Yeah, yeah it makes you diabolical. Bro, I watched more than one little documentary about like the racism of characters. In yeah. WWE, oh, Rikishi it's, and all this, you kidding me? Oh, I haven't seen like, it. don't be, poly- like you're you are what you look like, straight up. <laughs> like, oh. like even when I the last time I took of Roman, it was this duo. I swear to God, they had like basketball shorts. Their outfits looked like and one outfits, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like they were they, their their group name was like. Hip hop something, bro. It was. Oh shit! I mean, it was disgusting. Like dodgeball movie. Yeah, it was disgusting, bro. It was really on some like. We got these two hit black guys that wear basketball (laughs) uniforms, like, and the crowd's like, "Boo, bro!" I'm I'm doing that shit. I'm like, this is that. But that's the fucked up part too, because like when you watch these documentaries and you hear like some of the legendary black wrestlers who did grow past that or break through and had an identity like Booker T. Yeah. Right. Like Booker yeah, T. You sure. know, like the ones that were able to just be black men up uh, there. Yeah, yeah. Mark Henry and stuff like that. Right. They talk about like their first character or two or having to work past that shit or if they didn't take that weird ass African booty scratcher character then oh they wouldn't be able to eat that month. <laughs> no, you know not, what I'm saying? I have not heard that <laughs> yeah. in 1992. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah bro. Booty scratcher. But no, you're right. They were actually expecting people to lean way into their ethnicity for it was a long cra- time. It was, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah, that was, that it was, was crazy. Thing. Yeah, man. Like if you were Arabic, you were, you were about to put on if you're like, Middle Eastern, you like were a chief. whole chic outfit. Yeah, yes. And all that, yeah, and they still no, do I mean, it now, bro. They right. still and it still do it now. It's just, it's better. Yeah. It's better now, but it's, it's still, more it's still, it's t- it's more tasteful. But it happens sure. though. It I cannot believe sure. that we grew up like on the same, like, on different parts of the world. And you knew of African booty scratch? I didn't even oh, know. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, no, that was like, actually like that a, was really like a yeah. moment. That was a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. insane. Oh I'm, yeah, African, who invented that? African booty. That's what I'm saying. It was Some, one of them, I it think was someone one famous of, invented that. African. Which is why we all it booty might, it might have come from a Spike Lee movie. Fucking, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like that, that sounds that like something. I've been saying that since elementary school. I have yeah, no idea. Since kindergarten, that's earlier for me. Yeah, yeah. Since kindergarten, in like first grade or something. You heard somebody call him a tar baby. I, I have. No, Tar, I baby. Heard that. Tar no. baby goes great. Porsche Tar baby. baby. You mean today? Por- Porsche Monkey, I've heard that. Okay. I've heard Por- Porsche. I think Tar Baby is like, you got to be in the South. Because that's like. That's some Southern shit. Yeah, somebody's grandparents yeah. were actually. That's somebody, somebody real, 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 real yeah. black, though. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. a brown skin. Not like y'all. But no, somebody yeah, real, yeah. real, real, real black. Tar or used as an insult from a white person to a black person. Yeah. I'll tell you which one fucked me up when I was a teenager. What? It wasn't said to me. 
But um, I hope you're marking this area because I was gonna say, are we just? I was gonna say we just. I'm already on it. I have a whole thing that just says mark the slurs, like like the slurs. I don't know how crazy this is gonna live on YouTube. Yeah, we we oh some of these words we we've never we've never tried these before. Yeah, they're kind of obscure though. They're a little bit obscure. They are obscure. Does the algorithm know? You know, the algorithm might not. I almost want to test it because we've never tried any of these. These might be a little bit advanced for the algorithm. So it'll be. We have to try it at least once. We have to know. Yeah, it's true. Because booty scratcher might come back. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I oh, might God. need to use that again. I don't know if they'll catch this one, but um, I, I don't know. But Drew, you say but, it yeah. Anyway. So I was watching a movie, and it had uh, what's her name, uh, Reese Witherspoon in it, and she okay. was like a teenager, and she got. A, uh, I haven't seen Freeway. This. I don't know. Is it Freeway? Did she get arrested in it? Freeway. Okay. She was hooking. She was a hooker. I think so. I can't. Yeah. remember. I saw it once. She was like super young. She had a ponytail. Yeah, she was like yeah. A Freeway. Teenager. That's one of my favorite Reese. She got movies. arrested and she was in the interrogation room with two cops. You remember? And Freeway. one of them was black. And I remember, like, to get out of it, like she did something. To, she wanted to like agitate the officers. Yeah. Okay. So she <laughs> she chose racism. So what she did okay. was <laughs> so what she did is she started picking on the black one, right? Okay. And then. Before she like threw something at him, I don't know if it was the chair or something, but she threw something at him. But she was getting up and she said, "Yeah, so that's what I'm worried about, you shit skin motherfucker." Whoa, shit skin. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Yeah, and she threw funny that at him. shit was about that movie. She was dating a black man. Oh mm. uh, yeah, her mm. Bokeem Woodbine was her boyfriend in I real life. You said no, 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 no in, the, the in the movie, in the movie, in the movie. Yeah, she like ran away from home. She was like super young. Me and Bo- my mama loved that fucking Can you movie that? Bo- with Keen? Keeper Sutherland. Oh my god, that movie is so fucking yeah, good. Bokeem Woodbine. That's the evil Dave Chappelle, but he's actually he's a monk. Uh, yeah, 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 he talks like him too. Right? He's a monk. He's like, a monk. He, he is a monk. The Who's guy with the gap, the ball, the shape. Bo Keen Woodbine yeah. is yeah, 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 a yeah, yeah, certified no monk. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, this nigga. Yeah. He looks just the like nigga Dave be Chappelle. Be in Mongolia. Oh my god. <laughs> so I said evil Dave Chappelle, but he's oh not. My god. Dave Chappelle is evil Dave. Is evil Bo Keen Woodbine? That is evil ins- Look at that. Yeah, they do look just like. I that never noticed insane. that before. This nigga's a monk, bro. Well, I didn't notice that until Dave started getting buff. Because remember, he's oh, skinny. Oh, true. That's true. So I once, can see it when Once he, he gained that weight, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. they're probably the same weight or some shit. But look at that. The ears, the, the circumference no, this, of the ears. They've always looked alike. <laughs> this nigga's a black all star. They really Yeah, yeah, He's a, yeah, he's yeah, a black yeah. all star. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> the star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he's black all star. He's a black all star. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, I was yeah, just I reading like about him. He was like, I was like, that's what I'm saying, bro. He's tied to so many movies. I can't even describe how many movies I've seen him in, but. Because he's just thrown into a bunch of really good movies. Every time I see him, yeah, yeah. Come on. There's a lot of black, like, all stars. out? Zooming in looks crazy. <laughs> yeah, I saw something in his nose. Yeah, you were all in that man's nose. Yeah, 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 or just give us a mod of zoom in because that shit was we was up in this nigga's nostrils. <laughs> yeah, the dude from uh, Boys in the Boys in the Hood, he's an all star too. The Ricky who got shot. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, more chestnut, more chestnut, more chestnut. Yeah, chestnut. yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just he's an all star. That's, that's 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 why you forgot because he had hair. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The flat he's, he's been yeah, the flat tie. <laughs> um, he's but, been yeah. with his wife for like thirty years. I really love that. They've been together a Deep long been, time. They have been They've a been married for like 30 years. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Been, mm. yeah. Has he been cheating? No. <laughs> if he has, he hasn't got that's, that's what, uh, that's what Dan saying. Cook said. Dan Cook said that uh, one, one of his things, he was just like, you know, I, I have not heard that name man. in so long. I Dan used to Cook. be like, I want him Oop. heavy in high school. I mean, Dan he was. Cook. Oh, Dan Cook? Yeah. He was, he, he was probably in like 2008, he was like 2009. One of the, and he was one of the first like big internet comedians. Yes. And then he caught some grooming allegations. Really? Oh, did he? I think his oh. comedy. I think his overall comedy died down too because he really wasn't the funniest. No, no, he Simultaneously, had a yeah, yeah. Did, but other he comedians ma- were like, "Where's the punchline?" Yeah, the, uh, he maximizes his moments better than everybody and else. And the blue collar yeah. guys get her done. I used to, I used to me and my mama. Oh, that that guy. What was that? Ke- Larry the, the, Larry cable, the guy. cable guy. Yeah, Larry yeah. The, he had a. Small he's like blue collar Jeff comedy. Fox, Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah, Jeff Foxworthy. They were funny. You might be a redneck. If okay, but no, the third one was the funniest one to me though, because the, the one that I had that we have not named. Jeff Fox. He was no Jeff no. Fox. He was okay. The, oh, yeah. No, there's a third one. The there's one that always had a, a glass of scotch. He was the like, fat one. Cigar. Yeah, he's the funniest. Yeah, one. he's definitely the funniest one. Hmm. I always like Larry. Can they get her done? And that shit to just get me. That shit that she'd be so fucking funny. I never watched a lot of his stuff. Was that just his only? Thing? Like, I don't like, know. Anytime joke, he would say something, thing at the end of the joke, get her done. Oh, that was, and yeah, then that uh, shit was just, I had a hat that said, get her done. Yeah. It was just a <laughs> like, That was like, yeah. I fucking loved him. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, Duck Dynasty around that time. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I low key I did used to watch Duck Dynasty sometimes, yo. Yeah. I don't know I why. Like, um, I went to a predominantly also, black school, but, like, my friends were like, some red names. Like, real some quick, I just thought about this. For all the new listeners who have never watched the Theo podcast, 
As you can see, who my sparring partner has been for the last six years that we've been doing this podcast. This is why that nigga Sharp never stood a chance. You see oh, what I, oh, see, oh, see oh, what oh, I go against yeah. every week? Say, hey, if you like this, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. and like this. Sharp never stood a chance. Sharp never stood a chance if he has to go back and forth with this nigga. Oh, uh, this is who I'm practicing on. <laughs> oh, Sharp. See, I'm not familiar with Sharp, but I think, yeah. that, I think you had like a clip where you guys were. That's one of the guys that you saw on your trip, right? Yes. And you yeah, confronted and you guys no got jumper. into a... a for yeah, tech, it's just like it's just a and you, uh, just, okay. just body. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she was okay. on his yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what's funny? A, that is so funny you said that because one of my one of my friends asked me. He was just picture, like, because I don't even know. Oh, yeah, he was just like, let me come on your podcast, which he does do positive things. But I was just like, I said, I'm gonna just be completely 100 percent honest with you. I said it's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. I said just not even not even because of Shane. Oh, what, Didn't what, even think about what, Shane. What? You, yeah. I said, bro, you and AJ. AJ is gonna tear you to fucking pieces. <laughs> I, said, like, okay, I, I was like, you're like, yeah. he's like one of them Kevin Samuels high high class yep. niggas, which he is. Okay. Don't get me wrong. The nigga made like 350k a year. He drives trucks. He makes a bag. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. But yeah, he ain't yeah. shit. But at the same time, I was just like, but you think you're so fucking smart, and you be asking me what certain words, certain shit mean. Like I was like, intellectually, you're just not up there with AJ. You're not gonna be able to get it. Just like, bro, you're. I was like, AJ's gonna piss you off. You're gonna want to fight. Oh. <laughs> I said, straight the fuck. Up. I said, I know you and I know him. I said, bro, you're not gonna be able to stand toe to toe with this nigga. I was like, bro, that nigga, I, bro, he's not gonna let up on you. <laughs> he's gonna keep coming with it, like, cause he's like, he has, he has an ignorant way of thinking. I gotcha. think, you know, like, like I said, I fuck Kevin Samuels. I listen to okay. some shit, but like some things, I'm just like, nigga. Like, you can't say that because you're doing X, Y, and Z, and that's not adhering to these certain moral standards just, that you have. Like, you're, he contradicts himself a lot. Yeah. Okay. I just but, remember also when the Kevin Samuels thing started, there were so many people. Do you remember how many podcasts were just based off debating with men and women? Yep. Oh, yeah. Nigga, that oh, was the manosphere. That was the manosphere. The rise of the manosphere yeah, during the pandemic was, was a moment. Yeah, that red, shit was red pill, whatever you want to call that it. Shit was yeah. And I almost much. got sucked into it. You know, like I, I yeah. did, you know, it, it was exciting to hear somebody just kind of saying these thoughts kind of out loud. To, For it sure. was the video where he was talking to that, that black woman, you know? The so one, was, she, she's actually yeah, from Raleigh, too. Is she, she was from Raleigh. Yeah. She, she was either from Raleigh or North Carolina. Oh, but shit. I think she was from Raleigh though. Was oh, she really? Damn. The one, the yeah, one yeah, that, yeah, yeah, she, uh, uh, she was one? actually a friend Average of. At best. She was av- actually a friend of uh, an old person I used to deal with. Yeah, that's they right. were actually. Yeah, I went yeah. to what? I went to her house, and that's when I found out the woman who it was. Yeah. On Kevin Samuels, I was yeah. at her house, and then they were, they were like, "Yeah, I was on the phone. I was on the thing with him. I was on there. The I, was like, the I was like, I was like, that was cool. you. That is and crazy." I was like, she was like, "Yeah, I've met her in real life." Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, that bro. yeah, that shit. That shit was real. I mean, that put him on the map. But <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that put him on the map. And yeah. then it spawned clones. But see, but it was sort of like. I, and that's why I kind of get upset at the whole Manosphere. Uh, well, Manosphere gave birth to the Red Pill community, but yeah. I, but I kind of upset about it because they fucked up the the whole Matrix metaphor and shit. You know, because that was oh, sort of yeah, like an anti-establishment kind of message and all this—the Red Pill, Blue Pill, and all that stuff—and yeah. they turned it's, it into it's this, directly you know, correlated to that sure. now. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's, like, that's yeah. how he is. A woman shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that, yeah, shouldn't yeah, do this, and he's okay, like, yeah. Yeah, he so, pissed okay. me off, and I hung up on him. He called me back. He said, "As a man, why would he was like, I'm a man. Why would you hang up on me?" I said, "Nigga, you said something I didn't oh, like. You think man, I'm supposed no. to be on the phone with you? Because you're a man." Nah, I, said, that crazy. I said, "Bro, yeah. I know we ain't we ain't talked in a long time." I said, "But this is not dead." I said, "You." I said, "I ain't her." I said, "I said, I promise you. After today, we don't ever have to talk. Why are you threatening me? Click." All right. Get yeah, off my yeah. phone. Yeah, so that's why I was like, now I want him to, to come me. up here. I'm gonna get him to come up here. It was. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get him to come up here. Bring his like 1800 style philosophy. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna just tag Shane and back and forth. Just like, <laughs> I can't Shane, fucking Shane, wait. Shane, I'm gonna like, I can't fucking wait. wait. I'm gonna bring his ass up here. Oh, no, because to me, it was more like akin to Fight Club. You know, like, because remember, uh, like, for those who have seen Fight Club, it's like oh, it yeah. started off as a Fight Club and then it turned into. A terrorist group named Project Mayhem. <laughs> yeah. You know? So to me, that's what the way I look at Manosphere is like it started off as this thing that was only that's exclusive so to men to uplift mm-hmm. like, each other, right, and then it turned into a fucking terrorist group. And then you, know? you saw teenagers quoting that shit. And Andrew Tate was Tyler yeah. Durden. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you said Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, Brad Pitt's character. Oh, from Fight Club. Yeah, from Fight Club. Have y'all been seeing what's going on? I know this totally was kind of on top of it with Brad Pitt. And his kids. I just saw a headline that said one once. of his daughters dropped his last name. Right? Yeah, when she turns eighteen, but she I don't know his last name. But I don't know what's going on. Obviously, they I, hate this nigga. Whoa. I guess, dude. The court documents. Holy shit! Hey, you, this nigga you, is vile. This nigga really? is vile. 
This nigga so was, was it, abusing this... the kids, abusing her. Like his son oh. on his birthday made a long ass fucking post, right, bro. He was like, you are a piece speak. of shit. You are the worst fucking human being. You are a just disgusting, vile, violent person. The shit that you do to your kids, you don't even acknowledge us. Like, mm, But at the oh, same time, shit. think about it. Angelina Jolie's dad is John Voight. Why doesn't she have his last name? This is like a recurring thing. No, it's thing. the same. Yeah, yeah. She did you know the, because they had a t- tumultuous relationship. Exactly. Uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's daughter Shiloh filed a request in court to officially drop Pitt from their last name. There's a reason why Angelina Jolie can't speak on Shiloh Jolie Pitt official request to drop her father Brad Pitt's surname. A source close to the matter tells ET Shiloh hired her own lawyer and paid herself. All right, this is all okay. Keep going down and filing the paperwork. It is Shallow's hope to legally change it. I, you see how they gave us four right. paragraphs saying mm-hmm. the same thing? Yeah. yeah I just yeah, yeah. said, like, okay, yeah, like, so like, I hate that shit. Yeah, so um, by the way, Brad Pitt is. <laughs> Brad oh, Pitt. so I didn't know Zahara, the, the little doctor. I didn't know she dropped her name, too. I didn't know she dropped his oh, name, she too. Already, oh, so they're all it. doing it one oh, time. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I remember when she crossed AKA. Okay. So, quick question: wow. Is all the, uh, is her him and Angelina Jolie getting a divorce? And this is I don't like think some they're. The, I don't think they. I don't think they've been together for a yeah, while. Yeah, I think they've been split for. They've a while. been okay, going. They've been okay. broken up for like quite some time. Yeah. But did they ever go through a divorce? And this I is where I, I, d- I don't believe I so. Don't here, Angelina and Brad Pitt began dating in two thousand. No, that was from Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Scroll down. They might be getting to their divorce. They say she stole. I mean, well, you know. They did. They did. A couple of 2016, okay. Told you 53 plays report. Bro, that report was crazy. The report yeah. is really fucking nuts. Like, that guy, Oh, he's... wait, go back to that real quick. Let me see. It's uh, the, the office. It's so easy to get your windshield uh, replaced. Not to prosecute, prosecute the case due to several factors. Locked in in a lengthy. Oh, so they're Probably still. Probably the kids. Oh damn. Oh yeah, okay. that's true. If the kids, yeah. Okay, so the they're, but they're involved. they're still going through the fucking. Because they got adoptive kids too. Since 2016, they're still going through a divorce. That's right. a long ass time. Yeah, yeah it's what drawn different. out. So now I think they're waiting for the kids to get older so the kids can speak on oh, what was going that's on. True. Yeah. Because because she's about because uh, she's the girl is about to turn uh, 18, but she still they still have minors. He has like a 15 year old mm-hmm. okay. that's still in the I mean, home. they have a shitload of kids too. They, right? they have like five kids. kids. They, they, they got three biological kids, yeah. and, two bio- and two adopted. Oh, she's oh it's two? only two adopted? Two yeah, adopted. I, thought, I thought they were moving with like four adopted Same. and one Same. Uh, one that was there. No, they have three Same. biological children together. Oh, damn, okay. I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's and way more than I thought they had. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought they had like four adopted I, I kids. I thought they yeah. went to Africa and just stole everybody. <laughs> that, no, <laughs> she bro, was the first. Real, bro. She I was the first. Zahara is the oldest. She I remember was their having first like kid. an African kid and then like an Asian kid, right? Or something like that, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Angelina Jolie yeah. was just dropping her daughter off, the oldest one at, at a HBCU. Like she just started college. Yeah, oh, she goes okay. to Spelman. It was, it was, yeah, it was She's viral. Like that. She's yeah. AKA. Yeah. People were taking pictures of but her. But her AKA room, oh my gosh, yeah. she went stupid. That bitch was stupid. And it's so funny. Like, you can just tell, like, the energy so is just so proud. Yeah. She was just sitting there, like, just a proud white mom. Like, and she was. Mom. Like, yeah. she yeah. was. Like, all the pictures that I saw, she just. She was sad. like, real, but she yeah. was really into it. She was like, okay, if we're going to do this. We're going to do it. Like, yeah. 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 I but that is weird that, I mean, I'm going to look into that case because that's probably a subject for another day. And it ain't like it's coming to a close anytime soon, but. All these goddamn kids were trying to. Um, I think the son is the most angry. The little fifteen year old. Mm-hmm. He was Ray. Like he was on Instagram with Shiloh. Him. He didn't, and that nigga was terrorizing. He, did, he was bro. He was terrorizing him for them. No, for real. Married. He That's was really. Crazy. I yeah. haven't read it, so I don't know exactly what he's doing. But do you, man, do you think we're about to lose another? <laughs> Which is so crazy, actor, you know, actor in our heyday. But the way that people love Brad Pitt, and he's still been doing yeah. movies. He's still he, definitely been doing. He's still movies. been acting. Yeah, so. he's, yeah. I, I just saw the trailer for his new one with George Clooney. They're playing uh, uh, not assassins, but the people who do the cleanup or something like that. Oh, called wolves. Oh, okay. oh yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Called wolves. <laughs> Damn, he got excited. Oh, you I thought, thought I was talking about something else? else? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's called wolves, and you know, George Clooney comes in to clean up like uh, somebody's murder, murder situation, and, okay. and then Brad Pitt. Is sent on the same mission and they're just like, wait, what the fuck? We're the same person doing the same job. It's like, what the fuck? And then like some, they, they start gotcha. button heads or whatever. Okay, yeah. long story short, George Clooney and uh, Brad Pitt. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I, 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 I like both. Who in gives a fuck what the plot is? Yeah, yeah I'm I, just gonna like go see. You know what I'm saying? Like George, man, like he's yeah. always been like OG. Reliable. Love George Clooney. OG, reliable as hell. So, man. Yeah, I know yeah. what I'm getting. Getting more distinguished the older he gets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like, know. He can't be beating us forever, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I think I'm gonna go watch Oh Brother Where Art Thou tonight. Yeah, I like that. That was a good movie. That was my shit. I, I am going to go watch that new Planet of the Apes for sure. Oh. I'm going to go called? see that new slasher film. That was good. I think it's called uh, A good. Violent Nature. 
Have you heard of that, Shane? Uh, say it again. A, a violent, violent nature. nature. I believe Sorry, that's who? what it's called. It's a new yeah. slasher movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what talking about. hold on. Wait, let me see. It's oh, called. Do you watch slasher movies? A little bit. Uh, I'm not like horror. Oh, In a violent yeah. nature. It's a new slasher. Okay. Is it the one where it's like the whole time following the bad guy from B- POV? The, back? the POV okay. type shit. I've yeah. seen a trailer for it. I haven't seen the movie. Okay. Yeah. It's like Dylan, a, me and Dylan are going after uh, when I leave here. I oh, don't today? like horror movies. I haven't movies. even seen a trailer yeah, for it, but I've seen so, like little clips, but it's okay. Here's just weird. I don't like horror movies, but I actually really like plot driven horror movies. I'm more of a thriller. That, just sounds, that, okay. sound, that makes sense to anybody? Yeah, I'm like, well, I, I think if it has an excellent plot, it makes it a really good like movie. Like Strangers. It's also scary yeah. as hell. Type shit. I heard, or I heard like uh, Ash. I heard, I heard man, bad. the older ones are better. What's that other one? You, you, heard, you heard what was bad? Strangers. Uh, strangers. The new Strangers. The new Strangers. The new strangers. I feel like they're dragging it. They're dragging it. Cause this there is shouldn't, be, this shouldn't have been more than two or three. This is part one or something, right? It's gonna oh, be like, they, well, it's like, like a prequel. Yeah, or this? No, I think they're saying there's gonna be multiple parts of this this set of this is gonna be a trilogy. Why are they making another one though? There's already know. they already made one in like the early 2000s. There's, there's one. There's one this? in the theater right now. I know. That's what I'm saying. Why are they yeah. redoing this? It's, they're dragging yeah. it. Yeah, 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 Lauren, real quick, click that and see how many rounds on a four hundred dollar AR last. But like, for instance, I like A twenty four scary movies. Because I'm gonna watch that. If y'all see any any like anything by A twenty four. I have. I like most of their scary movies. Um, I like can't name any, but I have seen. It's like, black, black, it's like red, white, and blue. The A24. It's just white. It's white. Okay. Yeah, and it's kind of crisscrossed, right? But I think okay. it's kind of like all crisscrossed. Okay. But yeah, they yeah. made... Um, yeah, they made a. They made. Um, I'm sorry, a bunch of... Like, I'm having a brain fart, of course, now. Like, mm-hmm. um, they made the one where it's like... All the people are in the field with the flowers and the girl they kidnap and they midsummer. They, they, midsummer. midsummer okay. They made. Um, but like that's the vibe though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They, it, they made. It comes at night. Mm-hmm. They made. Yeah. Um, those are like the the psychological horror movies. They're psychological, yeah. but they're scary. Like because Midsummer fucked me yeah. up. I couldn't watch that movie a second time. Which that's one? what. Midsummer. Uh, yep. Like once I really sat there and really because I try to watch like three times, but when right. I really sat there like in front of TV, no phone, no nothing. I said, bitch, you got me fucked up. I really, I really need to, I really need to lock up. in and figure out what I don't like. So, like, mm. I don't want to watch no, like, uh, demon movie or I, yeah, I, I, I don't exorcism, like possession, I, stuff I like do. that. I don't like that stuff like, either. I'm, much, I'm good on that, but I do like suspense. I don't mind watching, like, a suspenseful, scary movie. You know what I mean? Right. I like Scream. You know, like I like you know, where it's like it's yeah. a normal guy trying to kill people, and and I'm not okay, and I'm kind of good on like there's a certain level of gore I just it's too much, like yeah. Saw movies. Love I, it. Oh, like yeah, I, that's too much, yeah. I watched Love two it. Saw movies and just realized I can't watch. It's that not much for gore. you. Yeah, yeah I kind of feel the same way. It's I not really for me. Yeah, I don't like, like I don't like documentary style like. Paranormal activity. I don't like shit like that. Paranormal it activity. makes it too real. Okay. Yeah, because okay. it's too real. I don't, I don't like, like the that. ones that make it too the real. The exorcism shit. I can do that. Cause what about okay? What about you Cloverfield? Know. Exorcism the real nigga. Yeah, that, that was birthed out of you know that what you were just talking about. Like the, uh, <laughs> niggas be possessed out here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, she but said, she said she could do exorcism, but she don't like shit that makes it too real. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <these> <laughs> niggas, but like, no, like this stuff in my house, like oh, you know what I'm saying. But like, I know I'm not a possessable spirit. Cause I've watched way too many of these movies to know I'm not an innocent enough soul to be possessed. They're going to, just, you can just, you, we're going to have fun in you this can motherfucker. Just walk into a abandoned uh, barn, barn one day. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Like I would not be against that. Like that, I would. What? It would possess what? you, and they would just cohabitate. Like y'all would just I kick it. I swear to God, y'all would kick it. I'm telling you, they'd be like, "Oh, she's too much. Yeah. Let me get out." You know, what's, yes! you know what's funny? Her sister, demon would be cool as fuck. My, I'm telling you, yeah, my sister thought my house was haunted. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. that was before uh, we realized it was really the rock quarry down the road. Because, like, the rock quarry. I love quarry, how you found the exact I guess, source. I guess when they drop rocks or they're blowing shit oh, up over there. It shakes. It's Yeah, it leaves a nice, like, dude. But it sounds like, it almost sounds like somebody's in my attic and just, like, boom. Oh, oh like, wow. And it, it, like, it does, like, a little house shake. It's yeah. like once a day, maybe twice a day yeah. at the rock quarry down the street. And there's actually two rock quarries over here. Oh. There's one even further, and maybe that's where the bang is coming from, because that oh. one is kind of displaced from houses. Where they're, like, actively mining shit. Yeah, yeah where they might... Re- ass boulder. Yeah, yeah, where they yeah. might really be actively mining shit. But long story short, my sister thought my house was possessed or had a ghost in it. And in my mind, I was like, well, we seen him okay. Like, if that's all that, that, that they're going to do, he cool. He's once chill. a den, I'm, a, yeah. I'm good with it. That, it doesn't, I don't yeah. get scared when I hear fridge, it. You got something <laughs> great? I'm but with that. This, Ask yourself. This is what locked it in. The yeah. first time I had, like, really went up into the attic, um, bro, there's this old black and white military picture of, oh, like, okay. yeah. I mean, like, those, little, those historical historic, pictures, black and white, you say? Old frame, and it's not even black and white, right. it's like cream and black. Okay, oh, I know okay, what you're yeah, talking about. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Mm-hmm. It's not that black and white. Yeah. brown, it's that tan. Faded, yeah. Yes, it, one of those was in there of, like, yeah. a military man. 
yeah. and in uniform, and then the other one was like a baby, and I was like, well, this does uh, not help. Oh, the, man. Yeah, you yo, know what I'm saying? What's the story? <laughs> yeah, bro. Not the old-timey not... baby photos. Those I still have it. I I kept it. Did you ever try to see who it was? No, I'm assuming What's it's the owner it? of the house, but I have, oh. uh, I'm assuming it's the either the old owner of the house or maybe his like grandfather or something or, or dad or something but like, like that. But like, this house isn't, isn't that old, right? It's this not house like is 1960. Old, right? So like that's pretty that's fucking. Old. Old. That's, that's pretty kind of old. old. That's pretty old. old. Enough for my parents' house died. was born in, built in seventy five, and they ain't seen. And we got and we got and you also got to remember like a gr a grown man who already served military time might have been twenty five thirty buying probably yeah. twenty shit probably twenty five. Because they were buying houses. They were already married with four kids at that point. He bought this cool, yeah. you know joint for like a cool $1,500. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bought the house for $1,500. Was a military person. It could have yeah. been him in his young age or his father possibly. Right. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because I, my great grandpa, I have a photo of him that like the Kinko's like re-engineered. Like, it was like one of the, they didn't re-engineer it, but it was one of the first color prints. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you see those first color prints, they're kind of wacky. It's like. The green is just like it's not the real. It's not yeah. It's not everything isn't yeah. uniform. It's not yeah. at all. It's not yeah. even within there. It's like yeah. a color they're putting over top of it. Mm. I don't know Better if you ever see, about. but it's no, a where they try to colorize black and white. Yeah, photos. yeah like they're yeah. colorizing black and white photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Search yeah. Uh, first color photos on YouTube. YouTube, okay. Not on YouTube on uh, Google Images. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's not. Yeah, it's not realistic. Okay. It's oversaturated and. It's probably going to be a bunch of niggas in uh, Shaq's watch. Oh, no. Okay. Click that second picture. That's kind of how it's looking, I think. Zoom in a little bit. That's I mean, how the, it is. The coloring of That's it? That's how it is. Yeah. yeah is that a, it's is like, that a child or a short man? That's a short man. It's a short, <laughs> it's a short samurai. Why is, why is he <laughs> so yeah, sassy? But yeah, you see yeah. how it's like... It's like, I don't even know if that's really the color, but it's like they just... Put some color, oh, like you know, right? Filter, no, it was initially a black and white photo, right? And yeah, they and then they've, oh, they've added colorizing it like that, like how they, they do it, like with the I Love Lucy and shit. Yeah, some some episodes yes, where they exactly, colorize it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's. I have a photo of my great grandpa like that. Oh, okay. Of him, of, of him in the navy. Oh, damn! And it's in color now. Yeah, that's it's, what you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it looks nice. it's color, but it looks wacky as fuck. Yeah. Right. Man, look, the scene that I still haven't watched Hereditary yet, but... You have never watched Hereditary? That's an 824. That's, that's an 824. Can't we watch that great. together? <laughs> uh, yeah, hold my hand. No, no <laughs> I want to watch that with you. That shit's crazy. The, the scene, was, I saw that that's shit one good. of my favorite movies. That I've never good. seen a movie scarier. It's just, I don't know if AJ's seen it, but just that scene. I've never even heard of Hereditary. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I don't know what that is. I need y'all to watch that a order. It's, yeah. got it's, some, on, I mean, it's on HBO Max. It's got some demon stuff going no, on, bro. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna and, tell you and, right but now. it's it's, it's like there's a particular though. scene that made me not want to watch it and it and it with the bitch up in the corner? Huh. No, no, not that it's in the classroom when when he has a possession in the classroom. Oh, oh. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know what you're wait, talking about. I know what he you're talking about. Yeah, just game. watch it. Just you wanna you pull it up? Yeah. Yeah. I doubt we can. I doubt we can play it oh, because they oh, okay. Oh, like they're, gonna YouTube, it out. they're gonna strike like on YouTube. it. YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't just don't put it on. The like screen. in the podcast, you would just cut it out. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. The desk scene. Yeah, okay. desk. Gotcha. Scene. Yeah, yeah. I definitely know what you're talking about. Yeah, class scene. Just because it's like it's like hard to watch. It's no, like it's hard to watch. But ooh, this is it. Yep. Yes, yeah. That, it's right. so hard. Okay, it is hard to watch. Watch this fucking movie, bro. A twenty four movies that, are yeah. shot in Watch the most insane fucking... way, dude. Are I, they not? The well, way they build the intensity. Cause remember, because that was yeah. another video that I watched where it said like people are always giving A twenty four the credit, even though they're just the studio that produces, mm -hmm. but they don't make the movies. Cool, so yeah. it's like individual filmmakers. This this is Ari directed by Ari Aster. He did this and Midsummer. When you watch yeah. it, though, like, when you watch it, make it sure you watch it in the dark. It wasn't even crazy happening, but <laughs> no. it was still Cherry. fuck you up, though. It's like, intense, yes, yeah, the way yeah. it like. <laughs> no, look, when you watch it, though, make sure you watch it in the dark because there's certain very dark scenes where you need to look at the background and up in the corners and see oh, what the yeah. fuck is going on. Like, the room needs to be yeah. dark. The room needs to yeah. be dark. The okay. room needs to be dark. You need to close those blinds. You need to tell the, you need to tell the yeah. to get the fuck on because you're gonna uh, uh, yeah. he's not he's gonna, he's gonna be he oh Jesus. he don't got time for shit like that. Yeah, Jesus. this movie yeah, is yeah. probably one of like bro. I watched this movie the first time with Dylan and that looks so familiar. It's, too. Like, it's, probably, like it's been out for a trailer, while. Maybe. That was the trailer. Yeah, the trailer. That was the trailer. Okay. They have um, okay. did they make a second one or no? No, 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 no. they didn't make a yeah, second one. But yeah. I'm thinking of a quiet place because oh, yeah, I yeah, because yeah. I've seen that dude I've seen that dude before yeah. so that, that trip I probably saw. Please watch this. All right, movie so here's tonight. my question though. Okay, yeah. so the same guy, the same director, he made all of those scary movies that are all that all have a name that's similar to that because there's Hereditary and then there's um, no different. They all directors. have like a like a they all have, all their names are similar. They're all like something Terry or something oh, or, um, or what? 
or something. They're all they all have like a, like a same number of syllables or something. It's one word. Uh, <laughs> there's hereditary like and then there's um. No, no, yeah. It's just uh, what A twenty four does, like any other producing company, is just you know, oh, you're a director. You want hey, here's a couple of money to make a movie. Go make a movie. Oh, you got, got an you. idea. I mean, it's just it's the producing company. It's just the what they look for is different. You know, they look for those more heady thinky type stuff that's what they look for mm -hmm. but they look for filmmakers who are like that in that same similar vein that's why i'm saying like sure. the reason why they kind of feel the same is because they're going towards filmmakers who have that same eye you I know, you. and, and you. style yeah. and all that stuff but the what was freaking me out is is because of i couldn't figure out how they did the face his face where it's like I was like, pressed up against CGI? his oh, eyes yeah, yeah. that's what was because it looked too real and then uh the actor he said i found an interview of him talking about it and he said um, they taped his eyelid, one of his eyelids up, and taped one of his lips up, and then he held his breath the whole take. And that's why his veins and his, his forehead, and he was kind of purple and all that shit. God damn. And that's what it looked like. When he said that, I was like, okay. Because I had to know. I was like, did they do this? With, like, how did they do this? Because it looks yeah. too real to be CGI. Right, so, right, oh, right. So it was some practical trickery, you know? I got you. Yeah, yeah, he definitely had to commit to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. I, I don't know. Shane, <laughs> please, I will come over. You can come over my house. I I'll come over your house. Like, I don't know, man. We should watch it. So yeah, you've never actually seen the movie. Yeah, you don't know, why, know. You don't know why all of this happened. No, no, right. no, no. I know Get the out. story. Yeah, I know the story and and everything about it. It's just I haven't sat down and watched it from beginning to end <laughs> because I. I just, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. I will oh, say, oh, that oh, scene no. out of context is crazy alone, but you're right. Oh, in shit. context, yeah. that scene is really crazy. Oh, and a caveat too, mm. AJ, is when I saw that clip, I was still in my conspiracy theory mindset. Oh, nigga, what? You remember like when you're I was being kind of fucking the, yeah, scared of like devil cults the, and all that shit? You feeling the monster at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is too much. This is too much, man. <laughs> you know, I was like, I don't want to, because I'll be like up all night. Oh, yeah, you, go, you ain't going to be able to sleep. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I couldn't true. sleep after that fucking Yeah, fuck scene. that. So I was like, no, no, man. Uh, I can't do this. It just created a new per like sleep yes. paralysis diamond, uh, yeah. demon or whatever. Shane, please watch the movie. It's yeah. so good. Maybe maybe I will. It is good, though. It is good. I the conspiracy thing so maybe you know now really that good. i know how the, do you know why like all of this made? had started yeah yeah okay it, you know, okay, you, know evil, the, you know the uh, the cult thing throughout the family the little girl all of that right okay. that that head. So, bro that's literally my favorite part or thing about the movie is the fact yeah. that the movie there's nothing they could have done throughout the entirety of the movie that would have changed the outcome yeah absolutely. exactly yeah. from start to finish there was nothing they could have done differently you're just yeah, watching right. them being victims of this curse 100 and yeah. at the very beginning they show you the curse starting yeah they do yeah. it's crazy yeah. it's and just, and i do understand like the what the filmmaker was trying to say underneath because the whole movie is just an allegory for trauma being passed down yep. from one generation to another it's just they're using uh devil shit as the metaphor for something being passed gotcha. on, you know? It's so good, though. Yeah. That's so probably one of my favorite too. scary movies. Yeah, it's just... It's maybe, like, maybe, I mean, but it's, it's witchcraft, it. really. Yeah. 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 It's based in witchcraft. Which, I mean, devil devil shit. Just like Dragging Me to Hell. I love that fucking movie. I'm not gonna say yeah. devil shit, because I feel like there's a fine line for devil shit. Like, The Exorcist is devil shit. Right, okay. where it's like, yeah, where we're like they're they're actively referencing Bible verses and just like just yeah. being oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they're really, oh, they're really yeah. yeah, like they're really testing your faith on on, on a like scary movie. movie too when he's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's that's Power one specific genre. You. Like I'll do scary, but like you said, I, I don't really. I guess the oh yeah. The, and to answer AJ's question, yeah, I'm more of a like a thriller guy. You know, like the yeah, Silence I, all I, day. I can fuck with thriller. Silence same. of the Lambs. No, same seven, yeah. Oh, stuff like that. Okay, excellent movie. Yeah. I'm okay with I'm okay with scary shit, but I say it's gotta be plot driven. That's all. Yeah. I am fully wanna, I'm, I'm fully mm -hmm. cool with just literally screaming my fucking lungs out at a movie. Yeah, I love I all scary movies, all genres. It doesn't matter. Only ones like certain ones, like that movie Terrifier. It, it was unsettling. Mm. It was like no, I, I like gore, it. but it was it was yeah. fucking brutal. Did yeah. any of you guys see Talk to Me? Or hear about it? I, oh, no, I oh. haven't, and I want to so bad. Is that the one with the little stationary hand. hand and it grabs you? No. Yes. Yeah, 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 you know what? No, I, I like it, that one. And and I'll say I watched that one, AJ. I heard and that one, that one is it it doesn't feel like that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. It's possession too, but it it doesn't it's not that deep. It, it's more like they you it's a unique way they did possession where it's like they're using possession like it's teenagers using possession like it's a drug. You know, they get possessed yeah. for a while. What and was then, the name of that one? Um, talk, talk to me. Talk to, talk to me. Okay. Well, yeah, Shane, yeah. well, how do you feel about one. Smile? I was going to say, I actually, I was about to I mention that. I like that Smile. I like Smile. I love I like Smile. I like Smile. Please watch Smile. I, watch I enjoyed Smile. Smile, basically like, cool. uh, it's a curse passed down through suicide. 
Right. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh so damn. It's, so if you see somebody, oh, I remember that movie. If yeah. you see somebody Where smile like, at you with that evil smile, it's like, yeah, there, you yeah. got you. Yeah. Oh shit. It's got that you. one is like really, but like it's so fucked up because the demon or the spirit or whatever will have her so so much control of her brain and like she really thinks that she's doing completely different things mm. and then like two days will go by uh oh and then she's realizing like have i been sitting in my car for two days or did i just go to work and do this and do that and not, no recollection no of recollection of that shit or no right. one else everyone else thinks she's just fucking crazy oh. mm. she's just fucking nuts yeah. and she sees this this thing yeah. smiling at her but you don't know what she no one else can see it yeah please oh, yeah, yeah. what are you, what no you saying you, you were saying something like do you guys want to yeah like, i was trying to see if y'all wanted to do the ride out oh shit. absolutely Oh damn! <clears throat> I wasn't prepared. Um, I'll yeah. go first. Okay, maybe I'll go with this. But yeah, you go. Um, My ride out is off of Party Next Door new album P4, and it's No Chill, and that's the best song on the album. And it already has a red star by it on my Apple Music, mm. and okay. I love it. His album is really good. I know Drake is seething that he did not get these songs. Let me are tell you, you. Are you gonna play your thing? What? what? You like to hear? Oh. I wasn't done talking about how great it was. Oh. <laughs> but oh. if you like to hear it, here it go. <laughs> Baby impression. I've been with triplets. I be, so the whole album is like a story. Oh, oh. It's a story. So you have to, okay. so it's best if you listen from start to finish. I yeah. haven't heard Party Next Door in so long. I forgot how you made music. Because like, Drake been stealing all his shit. I mean, I think they No, were. no, no. I heard it. Look, when think, you said that he was mad that he was, I was like, some oh. of those songs up there oh, yeah, yeah. are so Drake coded. I'm like, oh, I know Aubrey is fucking seething that he did not get these fucking songs. Mm. I didn't know Party Next Door wrote Legends. That shit kind of broke my heart a little bit. Yeah, it did. That's probably one of my favorite Drake songs. I was like, damn. Yep. I'm going to um, do a song called Buried Alive by Chance the Rapper. Yeah. And I told you he's been dropping singles all oh, year. Yeah. And this Has is he? one of Good. his newest. Yeah. He hasn't missed yet. Yeah. And I haven't is, listened to anything of him in This is a one while. of his uh, new ones. So I'm liking a lot of his new stuff. It's only two minutes, too, so you know that I feel like yeah. the short songs be good. Yeah. Uh, but it's called Burned Alive, Chance the Rapper. You like to hear it? Here it go. Okay. Yo, Mike's wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> My mic stand is yeah, that was dope. going crazy, so I killed it. So, oh, yeah. oh, oh, and there it goes. Yeah, yeah he's, he's been straight. dropping a lot. Yeah, and just, it just singles. It broke. It just like the end came off it, so I'm out. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> yeah, but he's been um I mean, this nigga's been snapping, he hasn't missed yet. Like he's really going crazy. Did I have a um did I have a video? I don't know. Can you can you get that door? Can you close that door? It might have been one of those lyrical things, yeah. Turn your mic back on. Oh, well you're about to start messing with it. Yeah, a visualizer. Right, okay. Well, hold on. Turn it off while you do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a visualizer. Yeah. There yeah, is there is a visualizer for the song, right? That's what I'm there saying. Is, that's why I was is. asking. I thought so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I was asking. It's not an actual video, but I think it's a visualizer. Mm -hmm. All right. What do y'all got? Um, who you me? I got I got some if you want to. Yeah. one. Okay, you go. All right. Um, I got joint. It's by uh Dear Silas. I feel already. Um, okay. It's v called uh, R. Yeah. Oh. S I L A S. And it's called uh Mickleton. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh just like you know, like I I I've heard something else from this dude, man. But like it's just smooth shit, like some smooth shit. I feel like should have came out ten years ago, man. But yeah, dear Silas, Michael Till, that's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. You like yeah. So I like that. Yeah, that was fire. I liked it. Uh, yeah. And you know what's always funny too is like uh, he has ninety nine thousand subscribers. A, a video put a year of a year ago put a video out that has a million plays. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Yo, you know, you know what you went that's viral for? I mean, or, or that's that's, that's no just how big the world yeah. is. You the know mono, what I'm the monoculture. Y'all yeah. might have missed it. You know what he went viral for like a few months ago was what? that song, um, I Ain't Stressing Today. Nah. Oh, I Ain't Stressing Today. That's their I remember. And everybody doing the same. Everybody doing the dance. I remember that. That's him. So that was his first joint. Got you. No, no, that wasn't his. He's been making music for a minute. Okay, so he was a he was kind of a pioneer during the TikTok COVID music. COVID. During that COVID music scene. Yeah. Because that, I ain't stressing today. That was like that 2022, 2021. Yeah. COVID musical artist kind of going crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so oh damn, I didn't realize that was him. Niggas made that day ringtones. That was a I know <laughs> that was that was big, bro. TikTok, that was big TikTok. Yeah, um, 
background song for sure. I want to watch this video, uh, Dear Silas Belafonte, because he's a uh, look. He's Kel in Good Burger. That shit? bottom left oh, corner. Shit. When did that come oh, out? Yeah. When did that, 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 that come out? out? That came out three years ago. Oh, damn. Okay. That, that bottom left corner. I see it. I just want to see yeah, that yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. after we go watch. Yeah, yeah. But uh, oh, oh, um, what song do you have? Yeah, um, let me go with uh, Sam Henshaw. Sam has two M's. And the song is called 816. Let me see if I can recharge it. If you see this, that's it. Okay. Yeah. 816. Yeah, I like it. Um, it, it was the first thing that came to mind because of, uh, you know, it. yeah, yeah, I pl played it on the way, or like it, the song came on on the way here, and then that's just what came into my mind. I like it. Um, if you like to hear it, uh, I think that's just a still or, okay. or, or uh, one of those ones that move. I can't remember. But, um, but yeah, if you like to hear it, here you go. It's Untidy Soul, though, right? Mm. No, it's, I think it might be a. Visualize. Oh, wait, 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 what? What? Oh, oh my bad. Sorry, hold on. Oh, so no, 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 that's my fault. I have the volume turned down. You know what's funny about these? Like John Legend. He does. Yeah, he does that's like why it. I like it. He reminds yeah. me of John Legend when he used to be produced by Kanye. But he's British. Oh, true. Isn't he true, British? True, I, true. I, I think I appreciate Oh, I have British. no idea. Oh, this, I haven't this heard guy? him speak. I think Sam is British. Yeah, yeah I, so. I haven't heard. I, he look, I guess he looks like a British nigga. He's yeah. got. Does I he? like. Um, I can't remember what he even looks like. Kinda. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I think I don't know what a British nigga looks that's like. That's like his yeah. newest song, though, right? It's like his newest single. Um, this was two years ago. No, so two years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this so is recent ish. Because he just dropped. Four something. days ago, he's dropped a song called Fade. He just oh, dropped it. Yeah, 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 yeah. With uh, featuring Kirby. Yeah. But yeah, like Cherry's right. Like, uh, like I heard it and I was like, damn, this sounds like old school John Legend. You know, like when he was produced by Kanye, where they used to have like the. You know the soul sample chops in the, in the back and shit. Right. You know right. what else is interesting about dudes like that that have like that soul? I just be imagining like even in their studio session, it's like it's like a James Brown, it's like a Ray Charles studio session where it's three bitches in there smoking cigarettes on one mic. <laughs> oh my god! And they're, yeah, and they're yeah, yeah. doing background vocals. <laughs> oh yeah. And I just yeah. imagine <laughs> him just like with a suit on, but like the shirts yeah. unbuttoned. Yeah. And he's. Yeah. He's hot. He's like, come on, bitch, we gotta yeah, get away. Right. You know, it. like I just picture those niggas yeah, making like, like, also like, has like a cigarette Charles, in the like, literally like on Ray Charles. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I just pretty, like that's why um Bruno Mars and uh mm. Joe, Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack, yeah. they were living when, that. when they were silk. They right? were living that for real. Yeah. I think they were really doing coke. They had bitches topless. Yeah. <laughs> they were making music and getting drunk. No, you're right. Living like they were living that shit, which is why it was like that. Yeah. Cause it was it, that for neither of them, it wasn't just. At first, it felt like a little concept album, and then mm -hmm. it was like, "Hold up, this nigga's living that life." They, yeah, they yeah. committed one hundred percent to like. We're not even in present day. We're in the seventies. The, the way they were wearing niggas was <laughs> driving Cadillacs. Only yeah. all of a sudden, I was like, "Hold Getting up, a perm. yeah, this is not just for the album. They yeah. are living that right now." Which makes me wonder, like, what is he gonna do when he comes back? Like, like um, when he transitions, or maybe or something. Yeah, yeah like, like that? is he gonna do something different, or is he gonna stay on that way? He's more Bruno you know, or He's so like he can do so much. It's like, he I, might stay yeah. there. I would love for him to do I mean, like some pure R and B shit. He might be fifty Kim years old. Was like, on that too. Yes, you know, I mean, kinda, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but like before, like you know, he was already the one doing with the that thing. Mark Ronson that was like the beginning. That, that was like yeah. the first glimpse kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, uh, Uptown Funk. Uptown Funk. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was the beginning. Okay, and then, so damn, for a number of years. Yeah, maybe. and then Twenty Four K Magic locked it in. Yeah, and then sure. and then still, from, and then from there to Silk to Sonic. So yeah. it's like so he's just a seventies nigga. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This, I, this I, thing is living that life. I feel like Bruno Mars has been locked into this character this whole time. Yeah, it's been a nice seven years. Yeah, five seven. Years. He's Anderson's become in. this though. And Anderson, Anderson, Anderson came in a little bit later into it. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Sharam introduced me because I really, like, really liked Anderson, uh, Anderson Pack's original, like uh, his original mixtapes and stuff. Man, I remember that. Like, I was so I'm about to say because you also got to remember he was never far away because he got that smooth as a muscle. Suede, oh. suede is the first thing that came to my mind. I was like suede, suede. on the inside. Yep. And a James Candy Brown pay, song. Candy oh, well. Oh, well, he sounded like James Brown and said, "You got." No, big, 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 big. Yeah, yeah, was just a he was half never, half. he was yeah. never far yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so he it was, was like a perfect marriage. It was a, yeah, it was a perfect little creative marriage. Yeah, and yeah. then they were just like, well, let's do coke and do this life together. <laughs> together? Yeah. <laughs> but all right, yeah, let's get up out of here, man. Let's get. Damn, nigga, I sent you a record. What you, what you, you was doing? Oh, my shit. bad, my bad. Hold on, hold on. Oh damn, we forgot about our hold brothers the over there. My oh, bad, my bad, my bad. It's the basic shit. It's just, uh, it's the new shit. It's nobody crazy. I haven't heard it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's that that uh, that new Meek uh, that 5 a.m. in Philly. Mm. I like that shit. I didn't know he did Tom's Stamp record. I like that. I like that record. It's a Drake diss. Uh, no, it's not. No, oh, it's not. What? It's not a Drake diss. Okay. But it's it's marketing ploy. You would say. You could say. 
But I fuck with that record. And you know okay, what I'm saying? One day if you like Marketing, to hear it, marketing for what? That one go. Huh? Marketing for what? For like to like, No, nah, just like a good way to like market his music. Yeah, yeah just, get, just yeah. get a record out there. Attention, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's that. I mean, that you like to hear it, man. Here it go. <laughs> Come on. That's that joke. <laughs> nice. Yo. Yeah, he talking that shit, goddamn yeah, it. Yeah, McMill doing that, doing what he do. Doing what he does just yeah. needs to stay the fuck off Twitter. I, hate it. I can literally go. Like, I, can, little, I can have a solo what, podcast about Twitter. how much I hate Meek Mill, and I will come with fingers? receipts. That's I can't stand him. Yeah. You're 40. Yeah. Piss me off. Uh, yeah, nice like if, if this is the only time we heard from him yeah. making great raps yeah. record, we'd be he'd be he'd yeah, be he at such a higher stand he's him. And then he'd have such a higher status. But he says the dumbest shit on Twitter so consistently. I'd be so over him, bro. God. So he's that just, shit he's is an example though. of one of them dudes that actually runs his own Twitter. He's actually tweeting for himself. <laughs> he, yeah, and you can tell it's too relevant. It's, it's like it's kind of yeah. scary how um, you're like, wow, you really run that shit. This, yeah, like, that's yeah. That, that last tweet. This has yeah. ruined your career multiple times, and you have not changed this up. Yeah, it so, is unfiltered. I have not liked him since he was arguing with Nicki Minaj on Twitter while his baby mama was in labor with his child. Mm. Oh, that's kind of crazy. This bitch is in active labor. I see her on Instagram Live. You're on Twitter. Damn. Arguing with Nicki Minaj. Yo, ex bitch. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, stay off of Twitter. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? It brings out the worst in you. <laughs> but, you know, that's yeah. that's an episode of the 3 podcast. Y'all got the entire range of what we do, pretty much. Uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe every Monday, 6 p.m. This is the audio version. So, also, we were just playing music. Yeah, that's not going to be on YouTube. Yeah. So, if you want actually want to hear the ride out songs, you have to go to the audio on whatever streaming service you use, and that's where you'll hear yeah, the... Yeah, so if uh, you were watching while we were playing them, that's why we cut it out. Yeah, that's why there's been so many chops back and yeah, forth. Yeah, Because that shit is not... You, you know how they... You, know, you know how it is. YouTube. But yeah, man, we'll see y'all next week. All right. Peace. Peace. You.